you, you placed a few items in my Telegram channel about uh, my Telegram contact about the evolution. Uh, I, I don't see their place in this discussion because they are all uh, just a description of evolution theory, some scientific background, some yeah. aspects like that. Yeah, <laughs> Sheikh, the, the last one, it's about the... Uh, so there is a, a brother of ours, uh, uh, he... Uh, has this theory from the from the ayat of the Quran about the khalq, the two days, two days, two days. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go through. Yet, the, we can go through that and read, inshallah. That's maybe uh, that's that's the relevant part. The other part is, is the scientifically well established. We are finished with that. We don't need to go through that really. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sheikh. But, uh, يعني, and it was these ayat, but with the tafsir ilmi. Uh, yeah, yeah. If no, no problem. No, yeah, perfectly fine. We start with this one. Yeah, yeah. You you want to read and then we comment. Oh, that's the best way because I did not read it. I thought I saw these various uh, <laughs> geological ages and so on. I say we are not in this business. And that business is relatively well established. Most of it, no. uh, most most main features are established with, with certainty. It's not a matter of any dispute or discussion. But if there's another issues like the issue of creationism, uh, evolutionism, all of these things, which are related to ideology and metaphysics, yeah, we can. That's that's what we are going to discuss. Yeah, so okay. I was bringing that from Britannica as in just like an introduction to have, or else, you know... Uh, yeah, go ahead. You know, we can just go into... Go ahead, go ahead. What start, it? start, start. In, in, uh, yeah, okay, we, we then should, I'll, I'll we start reading. We should, have plan, we should have planned that a little bit better, like well ahead of time, but it's okay, no problem, go ahead. Go ahead. Start with Bratianic if you want. If that's if you have this your idea, I then we just comment that, on it. Just for the uh, brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wait for more people to come. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Omar, I sent you something on your DM. Can you put it somewhere so that people can access it? We're gonna. I'm gonna post in in, in uh, Professor Muhammad Masari's channel. Uh, the telegram one put in the telegram one just no not in the uh, we have one here on discord yeah i, I don't okay. know how to access it so it would be not beneficial for me but the best thing is that since you have it in front of you somehow you read from it and then we see what if there's anything to comment the britannica will be just a general introduction but you will see also the language is most likely biased and loaded we'll see that's that's maybe the a good yeah. aspect to, to to read what because okay. the main problem with these things is that the language and the the, the, the way it's presented, like uh, although the the one of, uh, of obviously of uh, NASA, the first one, our first uh, gathering, our first meeting, uh, the one is completely loaded. It's clearly it it, it it presents itself as if it is scientific. It's actually not scientific. It's a, a number of metaphysical claims there, which are not yeah. uh, uh, accessible to any experimental verification. Just uh, the writer has put that from his own imagination, extended it beyond the border of of, of proper um, empirical uh, discourse. We discussed that in due course. That, that's the main problem of these things: that both sides they they extend the, what they imagine is the case or what they think it has been verified beyond its border of, of verification. But what, that's, I think that's, that's good in, in, in evolution and the issue related to evolution, it may be much more interesting because there's some, um, some revelation issues and scriptural issues about Adam and the creation and things like that, which is uh, causing mostly for obviously for, for uh, uh, in the West, uh, so creation is a problem in America and things like that because they, they have um, a relatively li uh, excessively uh, literal reading of the Old Testament. In addition, that the Old Testament is having definitely a faulty creation story, which manifestly contradicts certain elements of, of uh, physical reality, and also the Quran corrects that in various places. So we'll, maybe we'll get to that also, inshallah. Allah. Okay, so I'll, I'll start reading from uh, the Britannica one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what's the title of that? Uh, uh, so is. the title of the uh, is, uh, evolution scientific theory. Mm -hmm. Evolution uh, theory in uh, sorry, sorry, really sorry. Okay, evolution theory in biological uh, postulate uh, post postulating that the various type of plants, animals, and other living things on Earth have their origin in other pre-existing types 
and the distinguishable difference are due to modification in successive generations. Mm -hmm. The theory of evolution is one of the fundamental keystones of modern biological theory. The mm -hmm. diversity of the living world is staggering. More than 2 million existing species of organism have been named and described. Many more remain to be discovered, from 10 million to 30 million, according to some estimate. What is impressive? Impressive is not just the number, but also the incredible heterogeneity in size. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, heterog uh, uh, heterogeneity in, in size, shape, and way of life. From lowly bacteria measuring less than a thousand of millimeter in diameter, uh, to lately uh, uh, sequus rising hundred meters above the ground and weighing several thousand ton from bacteria living in hot springs at temperature nearing the boiling point of water to fungi and algae thriving in ice masses of Ant Antarctica and in saline pools at negative 23 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. and from giant tube worms discovered living near hydrothermal vent on the dark ocean floor to spider and larkspur plants existing on the slope of Mount Everest more than 6,000 meters above the sea level. The virtually infinite variation on life are the fruit of the evolutionary process. All living creatures are related by descent from common ancestor. Humans, in a shed, humans and other mammals descend from shrew-like creatures that lived more than 150 million years ago. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish shared as ancestor aquatic worm that lived 600 million years ago. And all plants and animals derived from bacteria like microorganisms that originated more than three billion years ago. Uh, biological evolution is the uh, Sheikh. Let's let's also focus on this from bacteria like my, microorganism that originated more than three hundred billion uh, years ago. Three, three go billion. To the first, three maybe we see some similarity. Three, three billions. Three billions. Three billion. Biological evolution is the process of descent with modification. Lineage of organism change through generation. Diversity arises because the lineage that descends from common ancestors uh, diverge through time. The 19th century English naturalist Charles Darwin argued that organisms come about by evolution, and he provided a scientific explanation, essentially correct but incomplete, of how evolution occurs and why uh, uh, it is that organisms have features such as wings, eyes, and kidneys clear uh, structure to serve specific function. Natural selection was the fundamental uh, concept in his explanation. Natural selection occurs because individual having more useful traits, such as more acute vision or swifter legs, survive better and produce more progeny than individuals with less favorable traits. Genetics, a science born in the 20th century, reveals in details how natural, selections, how natural selection works and led to the development of the modern uh, theory of evolution. Uh, beginning, in, uh, beginning in the 1960s, a related scientific discipline, molecular biology, enormously advanced knowledge of biological evolution and made it, uh, made it possible to investigate a detailed problem that have seemed completely out of reach only a short time previously. For example, how similar the gene of humans and chimpanzee might be. They differ in about 1-2% of the unit that make up the gene. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sh should I continue reading into the, the general uh, overview? No. Uh, in anything there specific? Yeah, this is that's a general overview. What, what, what's the next? Or what the... So we have, uh, for example, some of the, the evidence like the fossil record. Can read yeah. something on that? No, this is clear. This is the spot of the... the, the yeah. Darwin uh, essentially started from the the, uh, the various variations in certain islands of birds and so on, and then uh, and uh, uh, based on that he developed the beginnings of the theory, abstracting from that. I think may, maybe at his time there was some some fossil record about also uh, the various uh, sedimentary rocks and what they contain of. of but I don't think this uh, he he benefited from that that much. But maybe that was in his background of his mind. So the, we have the fossil record also, uh, which was started to be classified and and uh, analyzed, I think, even before Darwin. So maybe he relied partly on that, or maybe he did not connect that very, very much. 
but uh, definitely that's that's one of uh, because the fossil record is uh, yeah, at least it documents with absolute certainty the the various levels of uh, sophistication of of uh, of the level of animals and, and plants and then going up to the three billion years back with the original uh, uh, very primitive cells and things like that. Yeah, that's 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 I think that's relatively good presentation of the theory. Uh, without very much bias in the language so there's no there shouldn't be any 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 objection to any of that in great in any sense yeah especially molecular biology has settles many questions in, in, in these issues in this direction and it shows clearly that uh, uh, that uh, there's a genetic uh, similarity considerable similarity uh, uh, between for example uh, humans and some apes and so on with a small number of variation in, in, in genes, etc. Yeah, so or on, on actually sometimes in, sometimes just only one gene essentially make a distinction between like for example the normal cats we have the house cats. I think the difference between them and the lions is just one essentially one gene which controls it seems to be controlling the size and also the 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 sound from the from uh, the roaring of the lion and this is just the, the the very nice and small voice of cats and things like that i think only essentially one gene and the so it, it could be one gene could be having a stunning effect sometimes many genes are needed to have any effect and things like that anyway so that's 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 ongoing research on that so that's that's the i don't think there's any issue there i think the sci science is well established and um, uh, with uh, with uh, well, I would say with certitude, um, ex excluding that uh, someone could argue that maybe generation by generation are, are created by miracle action, direct uh, divine action. But this is a, a claim with which has no evidence uh, uh, to support it, neither from scripture or anything else. The only thing which maybe some people invoke that maybe uh, concerning Adam alone and things like that. That's it, and there's no reason to uh, to. Uh, uh, claim such a level or, or such an amount of metaphysics for no good reasons, because I think uh, the the re the, uh, the reason is that uh, relatively literal uh, narrow reading of the Old Testament, specifically in in, in America, in the so-called uh, in the funda so-called the movement they call fundamentalism, which is really a badly chosen name because fundamental fund the word fundamentalist meaning someone go to the foundation and the and the roots which should not be negative should be positive but it has been acquired the negative name because we can like like a like a like an a swear word almost uh, late in the last century and until now this is this a fundamentalist christian who believes the scripture are literally true and things like that uh, it's most likely due to misinterpretation but also uh, the, the definitely the christian uh, uh, creation story in genesis uh, having uh, manifestly uh, uh, um, things contradicting uh, f factual science, f uh, facts really bi bi biological and, and geological facts that's a problem which show but this is to be expected the problem the dilemma there uh, comes from that that this scripture has been uh, written from uh, earlier documents re-edited re combined together like for example if you go to the so-called mm, study of the old testament like for example there are uh, certain uh, detailed injunction about the clergy about the priests and priesthood both in in the book of the uh, the levites leviticus and in deuteronomy and they don't they don't fit exactly the same so and then there is very good reason to to believe that deuteronomy has been written later and from various sources taking some some information from leviticus but from other sources and uh, the, the one who has written it uh, is definitely skilled but uh, Whatever you are skilled, you are, you are skilled, uh, you, are, you are skilled, and you are weaving various uh, stories and putting your in, input there. It will never be exactly uh, uh, like, like what what, uh, what the earlier uh, the earlier documents have been, because he must have added something from other sources, non non scriptural sources, from some uh, points of view and uh, jihad of scholars and things like that. And the result is that what you have, you don't have a divine revelation. You have a human work. If that has been acknowledged that, that uh, like that in in the uh, Judeo-Christian tradition, 
problem would not have emerged. But the problem is that they believe in the so-called infallibility of the scripture and that they have been chosen by, by, by the protection of the Holy Spirit. This, this claim ended in this catastrophic situation, which we have, that they are stuck. Not in addition to obviously a narrow and simple-minded interpretation, which is we will address. That happens when you find this narrow and simple-minded interpretation in the Muslim camp. You find that there's no doubt about that. But this is this can be that can be uh, the, uh, let's say analyzed and uh, and, and uh, reworked from the inside by by pointing out that this interpretation is all that this this uh, the, the this uh, the way this is being put forward in this form uh, is. Uh, is uh, is based on on a, in, in a pre preconceived concept or a certain story in the mind or a certain interpretation which is not, not necessarily absolutely the case. Like for example, give you let me give an example. And uh, you find often when the Quran compares Isa and Adam, in the matter Isa and Allah he comes to Adam, خلقهم تراب ثم قاله كن فيكون. The example of Isa in eyesight or from the point of view of Allah and Allah is like Adam. He created him from turab from soil. From, yeah, to try with the business in soil, like the soil which we can plant in good planting soil to go to rub or from dust. Dust not meaning dirt, but like in dust. And he said, Be, and it happened, and it was created. The usual say is that this ayah is, is uh, they invoke it in the sense that we are that it's uh, that's arguing with the Christian that why do you declare Isa to be divine just because he has no father? Well, that is accessible to the divine power in creation. Allah can create Adam, uh, Isa without a father, and can create uh, create uh, Adam without a father and mother. That's usually usually find in the Tafsir books. That's usually in the Tafsir books. That's one possible interpretation. That is usually the one you find in most Tafsir books. And that's what some people get. So Adam has no father and mother, so he must have been created suddenly. Like like uh, we have a pile of dust, and immediately in a few seconds the pile turned out in a man. Which is not, uh, which is physically obviously impossible, but rationally not impossible. We have such such transformation in 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 momentarily in in microsecond or in no time whatsoever. In the case of, if you believe obviously, uh, the the t uh, turning of the stick of Musa into into a snake. Clearly, this is even more miraculous than fashioning a, a man immediately out of dust. So there's a divine power that's accessible to the divine power without any doubt. But Sheikh, then. How do you respond to the verse? What, why was the verse revealed? Oh, in the, the, verse, the verse was revealed to give you many hints in many directions. Like, for example, let us go to, uh, to uh, the, the, the verse that can be interpreted in the opposite. Like, for example, the creation of, of, uh, of Isa is, is done in a certain way, which have similar to the creation of Adam. It's not a matter of father and mother. It's created. Isa was not, was not suddenly standing there. He was conceived without a father. According to the general, uh, also the Quranic uh, statement is, stresses this fact. Uh, not uh, actually, we cannot say with, uh, we can say without an intercourse with a man. That's what, what the Quran says when when Maryam was uh, announced that she is is going to to, to conceive and have a, uh, the Messiah. His name is Isa, etc. She said, "How can I conceive?" Uh, and they have. No, have, have no intercourse. They were not touched by a man in matrimony. Nor I am a, I am a prostitute or a loose woman. So it does not seem to be conceivable. And the angel told her, this is what your Lord have decided. He's capable of doing that. Now, uh, let's go to, to, to Isa. Just, just, uh, let, uh, let's do our, our brain a little bit stressing how it could happen. First of all, an interesting thing that he's a man, male. male um, apparently he's a male. We see him as a male. People saw him as a male. And uh, has all male characteristics, beard, etc., and so on. Although we don't know how, how big his beard was, beard was or not, but most Jews used, used to, to, to groom, groom a beard and things like that. Um, uh, uh, and we know from, from, from biology that the, the man is having an XY chromosome, while women have XX. So it's, it seems to be rather, rather on, uh, bordering on miraculous, uh, uh, on the miraculous that, that uh, from, from the egg alone, how come that the egg alone, which is an XX, well, actually, the eggs are having only one X because it, uh, the, the, the division producing eggs and the division producing semen by men, is, I think it's called mitosis, it's, it's, it's in which the cell is 
Hmm? Meiosis. 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 It is the cell is is divided in half. Uh, the 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 genetic material. So because uh, chromosomes are usually paired, every chromosome is will have its own its own uh, twin, except the XY. So for in the the seeds coming from the man, some of them are X, some of them are Y, and the seeds coming from women are all XX. Although they have both the, the, the X's are not necessarily 100% identical, but they look identical and and they have the same opposite genes. But although one of the genes could be could be dominant, one could be recessive in the complicated way we know from from Asia. So how come that we have a, a Y chromosome there? Where did it come? Now there are various things you could you could imagine, just without going out of the realm of physics. Now from, we know now that at that time it's not possible to explain anything like that to the people. Just mentioning like that the, the divine power. Um, but also Maryam herself, when 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 uh, when when uh, when Maryam was born, before she was born, her mother thought that, uh, that she was hope, hoping and uh, thinking that it will be a, a boy, because. Uh, uh, and, and she 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 devoted that that boy or that that what she's pregnant with for some reason she felt or thought or dreamed that it was a boy, and a boy can be allocated to the temple to serve the temple, while women were not allowed to serve the temple for various reasons. The minimum reason will be that women will will have also obviously the menstrual cycle and menstrual cycle is absolutely no no for the Jews, even the Jewish women call the menstrual cycle the curse. They have to secrete from the house and so on. How can they be in the temple, in the pure place of the temple? So when 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 she gave birth to her, she recognized this is a female. So how how to fulfill that promise? And the Quran re report her saying, when she gave birth to her, she said, and Allah recommends her, Allah knows better than what she has given birth to. What is it that, that may hint to us that she may be appear, apparently is a female and everything is a, a full female in appearance and even able to conceive and so on later because clearly she conceived Isa and also after that uh, according to the New Testament she was married to Yusuf the carpenter and she has other children from Yusuf the carpenter well, no, no, born normally not miraculously the so-called brothers of Christ which are mentioned in the New Testament. Quran never mentioned them glosses over them. Uh, it may be that she has an XXY. So she may have some, some eggs which have XY alone. Uh, which can, and an X, I'm just, I'm just letting my imagination go. Don't take that anything of any, of any value, yeah, neither scientifically exactly. nor religiously. And That's a possibility. Yeah, yeah? Even scientifically, because XXY is a male. Uh, like X X Y, but could be apparent because two X is there. Maybe in in the, in the development, it appears like a female and have a womb and everything. That's what they call hamimphorite or something like that. Yeah, khunta mushkil, khunta mushkil. In that case, it was in apparently not a khunta. Uh, the mother checked here. She is female. She has nothing else which looks like any male uh, organs or you know, body parts. That's just pure. I'm just purely speculating. So what is needed there, there that and that's just one of these one of these uh, uh, one egg which is having an X Y, but obviously by uh, by spontaneous uh, divine act obviously because the, uh, normally such such, such eggs will, will will expire. One of them is a need it needs an initiation of the, the division process, uh, which is ha happened by 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 being by by a sperm being absorbed. There's no sperm there, so was substituted by a, by a mutation or the, or the divine injunction or a cosmic ray, call it whatever you want, and they developed an egg. So that's one possibility. Another possibility is just she's a normal female XX, and the eggs are not fertilized, and then Allah caused an, a, 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 a sperm to be created out of nothing and to fertilize her. That's a, that's a way it could, be, it could be done, for example. Now, this sperm could be very well for example, made to no, without any previous example, but could be, be made by the, with the example or, or or a copy of one of the possible spam of Joseph the carpenter, because he was already uh, was already uh, uh, betrothed to her, as they, they say in the New Testament. They already have the contract, but they didn't have the consummation yet. So it's legitimately to have a copy of them, and this also strengthened the point that one at least one brother of Christ was very similar to him. They called him the twin. Toma, 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 Thomas, 
Thomas is, 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 is coming from, uh, obviously, a, a Greek version of Toma, and Toma is Tawam. There was that, uh, people who confuse him with Isa as if he's a Tawam, as if he's a twin, is an identical twin. So they strengthen this point of view. All these, all these is obviously at that time it's impossible to explain or to give to anybody, and there's no need for that. It's enough to say kun fayakun. That substitute for all this complex. Then after that, he grew in the womb. To term, there's no evidence that it was le less than nine months, and was born like any child. Clearly, there was a miraculous situation with, uh, reported by the Quran. I don't think if the New Testament may not report that, but some of the so-called apocrypha, which have been banned by the church and tucked away, that's the called nativity, uh, the nativity uh, uh, gospel. There's a gospel or gospel of nativity. I think fragment of that are quoted some here and there in, in some of the ancient writings. But it, that 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 document is extant. It's not in our hands. Uh, uh, describe him as speaking in the in in, in the womb uh, in in the in his childhood in uh, in, in the crib as a baby, uh, and, and and this is definitely obviously clearly uh, a miraculous situation. This is this is not this is not not a normal course of things that that a child just just now born is capable of of uh, recognizing the situation or. or some scholars of Islam say it's actually an angel talking in his, in, in, on his tongue. Maybe. I don't, I don't see any problem of that. But it's very well possible that uh, uh, for the divine power to develop someone who needs to reach a level that he will, will be able to argue in behalf of his mother. Because the Quran says clearly that he told her, if you see anybody, then point to your mouth that you are fasting, that you have made an oath to fast. And the fasting, he means fasting from speaking. Because fast meaning holding back. Holding back, holding back from speech, holding back from food, that's all called fasting. Just point to your mouth and make a sign that to, to the heaven that I have made an oath to God not to speak. And point to me and leave the rest to me. So this level of maturity and discourse, normally humans gain like after 10, 15 years in, in, in development, but there's nothing standing in Allah's power to, to abridge that in, in a few hours or a few minutes. There's nothing like that. So it's definitely a miraculous aspect there in every respect. All related and expressed by, by Allah SWT as a kun fayakun, be and it happens. None of this means it happens in a second or a microsecond or 10 minutes or one hour. So it does be and it be because uh, the people got the impression always, because especially the Sufis say his command is between al kaf and nun, because in Arabic be is kun. kun. And they say his command is between a kaf and the nun which gives the people impression that it's lightning fast. We could translate in English that his command between the B and the E, because B, it happens, B, it happens. Oh. And the people interpret that in a time ter uh, uh, term. Is, is, this is actually a metaphorical expression for if the divine will uh, happens towards some an action, then that's, that's what Allah wills happens. Now, what how it happens, the way he have he willed, it may happen in... in uh, uh, immediately in, 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 in no time or may, uh, blank time or maybe it have been over four billion years it doesn't make any difference for kun so, so that's the first one which people think that because it is saying kun fa kun it must be momentarily not necessary that's not that's not that's not uh, that uh, that's uh, no, not correct that's so not correct. Sheikh, going back to to the verse in the matara uh, uh, so that's that, so, so the people conclude from that is that he is showing the people that the miraculous birth does not mean necessarily that's what you find in the court where does not mean necessarily that that Isa is divine because Adam should be more divine than him in that sense that's the way they understand professor just because we are talking about this it might be just off discussion mm -hmm. but there is a hadith that you know, man qada bil Quran bi ra'yih fa asaba fa akhtar. What does that hadith really mean? That we cannot, you know, interpret the Quran with our ra'yi or. Yeah, independent of this hadith established or not, if it is established, meaning bi ra'yih just purely out of his, his whims and mind without referring to the other eyes of the Quran and the other linguistic aspect. And based on that, you could see really a lot of that has been said in the Quran by classic scholars, even even up to the time of Sahaba, there's plenty of talking about Rai. 
if the hadith is established. Well, just leave this at the side. We have to yeah. re- check if this hadith is really established. And uh, it is, you could, you could say really this hadith is, uh, uh, you, you should put a little bit of doubt about its establishment because the Quran says, invite the people to tadabbur. أَفَلَا تَدَبُّرَ الْقُرْآنَ مَعَ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَعْلُهَا أَفَلَا تَدَبُّرَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَا كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ وَجْدُ فِيْخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا So you have to do tadabbur. To uh, and the Dabur from Mother from which the old Tadbir and Mudabbar, like management, you have to manage it. You have to put various places together so you get the correct picture. If you don't put places for it, for it together and take every ayah in its context, the ayahs before and after, you are bound to be, to be going astray or going to a, a possible interpretation which does not sound scrutiny by, uh, 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 due to further scientific advance or advancement in, in history. So, okay, fine. so, so, that, so that, that's one. So that's one where people uh, uh, get get, uh, uh, get get in in trouble. On the other hand, you, you get, for example, many so-called Salafi, and uh, I wouldn't use the word literalist, but similar, I would say uh, I, I don't prefer the word literalist because sometimes literalism meaning you follow the letters or follow the exact wording of the, the apparent meaning. That's not that's not bad. But 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 uh, if uh, the the word literalist uh, harfi, uh, letter by letter is usually meaning uh, people of shallow way of thinking without going in a depth of understanding the Quran. Um, by the way, I will uh, mention now just make a small break and mention a very interesting uh, narration for, with excellent isnad to Abdullah bin Masoud, and there are other channels who show that it may be hadith marfu, which says every ayah of the Quran is having had and matla. It has a, bo- a border. This would need also a deeper interpretation. A border and a matla. Matla is a vantage point. And the zahir, an apparent meaning, and the batin. A zahir is external, and batin is internal, or internal meaning. And the batin has, may have another batin down all the way to seven batins. So there are various layers of deeper meaning, and layers which may you may be able to uh, to peel back and see a deeper meaning, another deeper meaning, another deeper meaning, and maybe not able. Most people will be able if they are lucky to get to get a zahir. When we go when we talk about seven number seven in Arabic, you know, because we're gonna come to this with the other verses, samawat. It does not really have to mean in Arabic seven as not necessarily, seven. not necessarily seven and seventy and so on. Because in the Quran, you know, it was talking about Ashhar al Haram. Say seven plus three, tilka Ashron kamil. I think. Ah, this is this is this concerning concerning uh, concerning fasting and so on. That's clear. But yeah. if you talk, you yeah. talk about the it's creation like of the heavens and the earth, yeah. You have to take things in their context. If you take things out of their context and out of the stream of the ayahs, you will end nowhere. No, no. no Sheikh, you don't understand what I mean. I'm saying that the Quran is also showing us that seven does not really mean seven because here Allah said this is ten. So we don't know how to add seven plus three. We know how to add seven plus three is equal ten. But it's like to show that here this is seven, proper seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not a seven where, where, where it could be, you know, more more than seven as, yeah. as in language yeah but but here it is the context is clear it's say uh, you have you have to have bring a very bring a kafara or something like uh, it, uh, the, the, in the case you cannot you cannot you cannot have the sacrifice uh, they have you to three, three three days in hajj minimum it's not even necessary only three it can be more than three but three in hajj and seven when you go back some people conclude from that that you are not allowed more than three in Hajj and seven back, but this conclusion is not very persuasive. But uh, uh, but assume it is three and then seven when you go back, that's a total of ten. The stressing of total of ten meaning the kafara is total of ten, but three has to be in Hajj, minimum. And that total must be ten, minimum. So if you do in Hajj five and then back home five, you have completed it. If you do five in Hajj and seven at home, then you have done twelve, then you've done, done the minimum requirement and more, etc. Yeah, so I don't think this relate to issue of of, of the, uh, the numbering in that sense that the number is really the real number meant, not so, not something else. But we'll, uh, that's 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 causing some problems with the issue of the heavens and earth being seven, etc. We'll come to that maybe if needed. I don't think it's related to this issue. It's another issue also. So what is the meaning yeah, of sama and sama? Have to also make it about the creation story in the Quran and you know to match it with what the science tells us because. 
you know we can't we can't also just ignore the uh, quranic narrative i mean i'm sure you know surely, surely. but let's, let's go to the evolution first we go to the other one maybe another yeah. time or, or today later ah. when we get time so let's focus on that Inshallah. evolution Inshallah. so but let me say this now uh, i meant uh, this this the narration from masoud which is an excellent is not this in tabari and even there are says various channels attributing it to that in masoud attributed as a saying of the prophet peace be upon him and i think this is a strong point because this way of, of formulating things is way out of the league of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, way out of his league. There's no way that can he understand things like Ba'ir and Batan to seven-fold Batan. That's number one. Secondly, that could not be have taken from the people of the book because something like that, it does not exist in their jargon and language. You can scan the, the ancient books, the Talmud. There is no talking about uh, external and internal meaning at up to seven levels. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, so you could not, you could not say maybe he 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 heard it from some of their scholars and this course and he ad adopted that and analyzed it further. Maybe, but this is by, by many statements of the Sahaba who used to be interacting with with scholars of the people of the book. There may, some of their statements are clearly uh, are not from the Prophet. They are from the people of the book, and there is an the indication which shows that clearly to be the case. Let me give us an example of that quickly before we proceed. Just for the benefit of everyone, even for non Muslim present, there's a hadith, various hadith about, uh, about uh, from Abu Huraira. One of them, for example, is the following Were it not for, for Hawa, Eve, uh, no, no woman would betray her husband. Okay? Now, if you analyze that further, first of all, the, the, uh, the, the word Hawa is never used in Quran and Sunnah. This may be the first place ever. We see, see it, so this is a question mark because uh, calling it calling the the the, uh, the the wife of Adam Hawa is the ha habit of the people of the book and etc. Okay, number one. But this is a minor point. The major point is that which betrayal did Hawa do, do so that so that it become like a habit or a, a well-established tradition for women to be traitors, which is obviously manifestly false. What is this? The only betrayal we, we can see in the Old Testament, at that time, suppose there was an, another man, and there is no where uh, she is accused, whether the Old Testament or the Quran, anywhere that she, that she has a, a lover, or, or she has marital, marital uh, treachery or so. So the only meaning could be that she betrayed him by, by, by instigating him to eat from the, the tree, according to the Old Testament. Isn't it? Okay. So this is blatantly contradicting the Quran. It fits with the Old Testament. Uh, when I when I when I when I when I saw that, I checked the isnad. The, the, the one I saw was from one of the people of the book, which is Hamam ibn Nabeh. It maybe it's from Hamam, and he could, he attributed to Abu by mistake because Hamam is an excellent narrator. But then I checked all other channels. Almost six or seven of the first class narrators of Huraira are saying it. Most of them are Bedouins and have nothing to do with the people of the book. So the problem is Abu Huraira. Now, Abu Hur the problem of Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, we know for a fact that he is a friend and close to Ka'b al-Ahbar, and he was sitting with him for a every length of time. So we can see now, he, he, here he got it, and then somehow it interfered in his mind and thought it is a statement from the Prophet ﷺ. Because after some time, you may very well, your memory may very well betray you. And the issue of memory betrayal are covered. Actually, there's there's a series in the in, in the YouTube, on which amazing th uh, stories of uh, memory betrayal. You, you will never believe them, but it's but it is certified. And Sheikh, you know, for, for Abu Huraira narrating, say yeah, there is a riwayah Sheikh bring to us. But Abu Huraira, I say some people ask them about the riwayah. Say this is. Did you hear it from Rasulullah? He say no. Min Kisi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. And sometimes it's from Kis Rasulullah. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's no problem. Uh, the problem is that yes, we have to recognize that and be careful. That's it. I don't yeah. see. I think uh, I think because Abu Huraira was very close and, and uh, they did govern Medina in behalf of Abdul, uh, 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 in behalf of of, uh, of uh, Marwan ibn Hakam for some time, the Shia is having very negative point of view. But actually, the Abu Huraira narration about B B Bani Marwan and Bani Umayyah is devastating. But I think that has been ignored and neglected. Most devastating na na narratives against against uh, against uh, Samar ibn Jundub and against uh, Bani Umayyah generally and the and the the Sufaha, the, the evil ones from Quraysh is coming from Abu Huraira. And he said, he said, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, responding to Marwan al Hakam telling him, uh, May Allah cares those evil ones. Who are they? Say, If I wish, I would have mentioned them by name, but I will not. And in another occasion, said, I have from your Prophet things which if I tell you, you will cut my throat. And one of it, and he was always supplicating that he may die before the year 60. Because after 60, some evil events, which we know what's it, including the, the killing of Hussein, and the coming of Yazid, etc. So I, I don't think Abu Huraira is that bad as some Shia. Uh, uh, but they got stuck with few things that they cannot get out of it. The problem is if you get stuck and you don't be, uh, uh, if you don't uh, educate yourself to become more critical and more scrutinizing and just get stuck in one route, that's a problem. You have to get out of being stuck. You have to get unstuck. And there are other hadith similar from Abu Huraira. All of them, luckily, are narrated by five, six of his first class students. So the problem is Abu Huraira. We have then the option, say, did he lie deliberately or was it because of the continuous sitting with, with, with the Kaab al-Ahbar and learning from him? And some, some could say Abu Ka'b al-Ahbar did that deliberately to confuse Abu Huraira and, and, uh, and uh, spew some poison in Islam. That's a possibility, but I don't think if you see the whole story of Ka'b al-Ahbar, he's definitely a Jewish scholar of high ranking, but the, the man has his own background and his own, his own upbringing. He cannot divorce all of that completely and get out of it. And he thought maybe this is really valid from the ancient scripture. And, and, and to say that without being critical again that he converted to Islam, and even maybe sincerely, does not mean that you have cleaned your head from all the rubbish of the past. It's, it's, it's not always like that. Especially the rubbishes, uh, such rubbishes which needs, needs uh, really deep and uh, uh, scrutinizing. Like for example, you have to uh, go the, through the Adam story everywhere in the Quran to see that, that uh, his wife, uh, uh, Eve, okay, Hawa, whatever her name was, uh, has, has, no, has no real participation in the issue of the tree whatsoever. The, 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 the waswasa, the inspiration of the devil was to Adam, everything was to Adam. She just participated. She followed him. He's the leader, and he's the one who betrayed, actually. <laughs> if, you think, if, any, if there's anyone committing treachery and betrayal uh, and failing his duty as a leader, is Adam, not Hawa. And the Quran says clearly in another place, فَعَصَى آدَمُ رَبَّهُ فَغَوَى It doesn't mention Eve at all. Which is a fundamental contradiction. Obviously, the feminist president, if they're a feminist president today, they would be obviously happy to hear that. <laughs> it's sure. completely nothing that uh, Eve has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Which is a complete contradiction to the Old Testament. Do, are all humans from Adam, from the soul of Adam? Yeah, that's, 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 that's pro proven now by, by population genetics. Yeah, that's the point. So we I can we can, we can say Adam, Adam is not a metaphorical figure. It is most likely, it is almost certainly a real human being, a real person. Yeah, Sheikh, like that, what we have is, for example, the uh, maternal Eve, and what basically it is, it's like the mit mitochondrial. Uh, yeah, yeah, DNA. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's okay. DNA is passed from only mother. Yeah, uh, and we, when uh, we have and we have the Y Y chromosome, and all we have also the Y. Yeah, but for, for yeah, so with with evolution uh, evolutionists, they would uh, you know say that uh, from from th these two people, but you know they're not even in the same timeline. This is the the, the problematic thing, Sheikh. No, it's not like, a problematic. It's not a problematic. It's not how a, is it if the if the mitochondrial Eve is not in the exact same time doesn't matter it, it is it is lower than adam it's closer to us than adam so what's yeah. the problem in that all all women in the world and all mitochondria go to a certain mother there which is, has one line straight to the one which was with adam because they definitely adam was not miraculously producing children without a woman so that that one mitochondrial mother goes up to to eve in one line there was no branching there. Well, the Y branched uh, right and left and center because it's two, two different, two, two independent branching. Uh, uh, if you look also to the branching of, of the mitochondrion, uh, you will find the branching is quite different. Yeah. I mean, both of them are found in Africa, which. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that, that's that's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, but yeah. this is not a problem. 
But what yes, it would have been a problem if the if the in, in the world population uh, uh, the population would go to, to to two mothers and to two fathers that they are not at the same time is not is is, is can can be very well by accident of genealogy. They say that the, 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 the female line going down uh, from, from Eve, there may be branches which died out in time past and the only surviving now from the, from the one which is, if you check, I think, I think uh, they, they claim that it goes to the so-called uh, geneo, uh, genetic Adam, uh, how much, 250, 270,000 years, something like that. And while the, the, the Eve is like 180 or something like that. Well, that's that's fine because all humans in the world goes go go uh, go commit to continue wise to 180, and but clearly there were uh, other female uh, male uh, sprouting right and left center. That's okay. That's 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 no no issue with that whatsoever. Sheikh, you know there's a verse in the Quran says, "Rabbuk al-ghani wa al-rahmah in yasha yudhibkum wa yistakhlif min ba'dukum." Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is would, would uh, but this, I don't think this relates very much to evolution because the addressee the addressee of the, of the Quran because this is in the Quran obviously the addressee of the Quran are from from uh, uh, have, have descended from another people and another nations and other tribes mix of tribes mm -hmm. alliances and so on it, it doesn't it doesn't really uh, 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 indicate. indicate any issue related to evolution. Uh, the, let me go back then. We have got so al-Dahir and Batal. Let us go to to the issue of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, which will be really uh, will, will squeeze so-called Wahhabi and uh, uh, excessive, not literalist, but let's, uh, let's, let's call them. Uh, um, how do should we call them? Uh, something shallow, shallowest. Is that a good word? <laughs> I don't think in English mm. the shallowest or the uh, trivialist. Ask some of the Habi or for example, when they issue, they talk about the issue of attributes and created with hand. The Quran says clearly, uh, when there's a dialogue between Allah and Iblis, it says, uh, which could be metaphorical, but let's go ahead. What would prevent you from making sujood, prostration, to that what created with my own hand? Yeah? And they say Allah has a hand, and we don't know what's it, and so on. But in the other places, it مثلا آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قاله كن فيكون. So كن فيكون is not different than created with my own hand. My hand. So what's the meaning? What's the extra thing in creating with my hand? It's everything is created with كن يكون by by the the will. The moment the will is is concluded, the divine will is decided. The decision, the divine decision is made. The command is made. Then the, what is commanded come in existence according to the details of the command. The details of the command is not always immediately the same second, like in the Big Bang or the singularity. That was immediately, and what came immediately was just the the, the infinitesimal post, the 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 uh, uh, the, the post the Big Bang with the initial conditions and the, the initial parameters, which then. Uh, uh, already proportioned such a way as the Qadr and Maqadir which has written before the creation and the creation started is that uh, which will develop dynamically as it is obviously the development could not happen without uh, without Allah's permission and Allah's initiation and permission without any doubt like it, it could uh, develop in its own the internal mechanism and dynamically as as set forth from the moment zero so the universe was created by Kun Fayakun did not emerge like it is today. It took 13 and something, 13.6 or 13.8 billion years to develop at its level. <laughs> so that's, that's not negate that it's created by Kun Fayakun. So, that, okay. uh, so if some people think Kun Fayakun meaning it has to be momentarily, no, not necessary. And what's what's the meaning when you say when when uh, when 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 the the, the 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 creation was almost complete or complete? Then he uh, attended to heavens and earth and told her and the earth, told heaven and earth, come to me in obedience or or, or again willingly or unwillingly. And they said we came willingly. Are these conscious beings? What does this mean? It has another meaning than just that just that had a dialogue like what we have a dialogue maybe our neighbor. But humans tend to think things in the, in the anthropomorphic terms. That's what brings the problem. We have to, to, to go to more the essential meaning in this, in this sense. 
So back to the story. Again, Adam creation is mentioned, and you find also the Mufassirin struggling, say, uh, in one place it's made out of, of, of dust, drop, huh? And then one place it says, from Teen and Lazib. A sticky, a stinky, uh, depending upon what, what you, what you, what, what, which interpretation of Lazib you understand. Is it a smelly, uh, um, uh, teen, which is what is teen in English, is uh, mud, mud, sm- uh, stilly dark mud, which could be hinting something like uh, how could, could mud be st- stinking, stinking and smelly in the before any animals there, which was called, called the stinks we are used to in, in in this this in this phase of creation we are uh, due to bacteria and disintegration. But before that, the only stench maybe is coming from volcano with sulfuric uh, sulfur emanating from uh, uh, volcanoes in deep sea. So maybe that's where uh, life initially started. And then we have in a place uh, the material is like the one it's used to make uh, pottery, salsar and kalfakhar. Uh, pottery which sounds salsar and kalfakhar salsar like like uh, pottery so which one of it is it's all of them various stages of creation first of all the initial mountains have been obviously through tectonic movements which were very rampant and strong in ancient time disintegrate into dust like then go in the bottoms of the ocean they were volcanic activities etc and the material itself is that like we have in a pottery if you look to the composition of the pottery material is really uh, chemically very close in matter of uh, uh, various atoms obviously not in a complex structure of protein and so like humans so there's all all hints we have done another hint in in, in surah in, in, in surah nuh why don't you show you pay respect appropriately to Allah who created you in 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 atwar in evolution in evolutionary step tower this is exactly the uh, the translation of evolution and the, or phases in phase after phase that's evolution yeah? evolving from phase to phase Syrian say it's regarding the like the heaven yeah they know, said uh, that's but but who said that is only the Quran says atwar yeah why don't you keep it in generality? Maybe atwara in various uh, species after species. Maybe it is the, uh, the various stages in, in the womb. Maybe the various stages after birth, child and adult, then full mature man or woman, and then declining into old age. All of these are atwar. Who said that only one of them is intended? You see where the pitfall comes, that you where, where something is general, they try to restrict it according to their limited experience, or where something is restricted, they try to expand it out of the, out of, out of the reasonable border. So all, all these usual arguments that 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 this that that that, that, that Adam may have evolved, uh, there there's usually the the emotional arguments like, uh, uh, and I think there's one article in this infidel uh, reference which you gave me a couple of weeks ago, about that uh, that uh, theory evolution is is evil because it uh, it instigates humans to feel that they are just animals, they are just animals and uh, and. Uh, uh, and uh, this meaning that the only morality the humans should be subscribed to is the animal morality, the law of the jungle. But this is neglect that in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the creation, the Quran, the creation also in the Old Testament, it is the, the divine spirit or creation in the image of God it is ignored. And that makes different from the animals. And also the blowing of the spirit in the case of uh, 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 that's neglect this one. And secondly, it 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 it, 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 uh, it, it does not uh, negate the problem that being created from mud or from smelly mud or whatever it is, uh, it, it is not very much more honorable than being created from ancient uh, ape similar creatures. Actually, uh, and, and creatures similar to the apes is much more higher level in the in the level of of, of complexity at least than just plain mud so how, how it has become more honorable to be from mud rather than <laughs> so this the, the, the I, I would say most of these are just emotional arguments that hasn't the, the theory of, of evolution does does not mean that, that a man has evolved from lower animals who did not have the consciousness they are not in god image really sufficient freedom and capability uh, 
it, it's uh, the Quranic discourse and also all the test, Old Testament discourse, but the Quranic discourse specifically is clear that a specific person, Adam, we cannot say Adam is metaphorical for human species. It's really, a specific man has been chosen and a spirit has been given to him, meaning a moment of awareness, like maybe he was addressed to the certain basic revelation. That moment is expressed as that moment is the moment where uh, he, 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 he crossed over from being just a higher animal into a human being who is worthy of addressing with commandments and, and, and injunctions. Sheikh, we, we, uh, there is a very nice video that I, I have to send to you. It's about language and, and words. And it's basically uh, uh, with a patient that is deaf. Um, and basically, the, he does not understand what words is, so he cannot make concepts of anything. He cannot understand anything around him. He cannot communicate with him because he does not know what words is. And then with, with the Quran, with Allama Adam al Asma'a Kullaha. That, that's that's the claim, but there's, uh, there's 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 there is no no uh, no, no reason to, to believe this uh, this who, who is making that claim the guy who is doing the video. No, the, the the claim is that if you don't know uh, what what are words, if if you, if you don't have that concept in you, then you cannot communicate with. I I will send you the video. It's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. no, independent of that, definitely. But but who said uh, uh, what what's relevant for us is that uh, the Quran said that uh, that Adam has been taught uh, uh, all names. Uh, even uh, ancient scholars were discussing what's meaning all names. Uh, all the, the, the naming things, uh, the number of things which will evolve in the future is unlimited. Meaning he has been taught how to name things. How to develop concepts? He has the the rational capacity of naming, or stated differently, he has the rational capacity of lang linguistic discourse, and uh, hence creating references because the names are just references to something, and we have even we are capable of creating names for things who do, impossible exist, like the, the 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 square the square circle, for example. So. That's Allama Adam. Who said that Allama is uh, putting him in, in a school and, uh, and uh, on a table and giving him a pen to work? Who said that? Maybe that Allama is the, through the evolutionary process. Problem that people t read and things, th things, and when they say Allama, they think it's like going to school and sitting on a table and having a piece of paper and starting to write things. It's not. Or putting him in front, say, uh, do this, say that, say that. Not necessary. Let me give an example to show you that this, this is a mistake. And what the the yeah, abstract thinking. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. And the, in the Quran mentioned that ta'lim after the issue of sujood and and, uh, and etc. It doesn't mention it after or before. So the, uh, in, in the argument with the angels, which we could be metaphorical, because obviously the angels do, do not have this capacity. So what are these angels in the first place? But leave it. Leave them what the angels they are. Leave them what they are. Or whatever. Or the metaphorical for certain forces in the universe. Actually, some Sahaba and Tabi'in claim that the angels are nothing than the like natural forces like uh, the wind and things like that. That's a, an old claim, by the way. Khalqun Musakhar. But anyway, go back to the... Uh, it says, with well, the argument with the angels, before even the creation, it does not say it is before or after. They uh, they argue that, that this will be uh, uh, according to what what you are presenting to us or what is being put on the table is that this creature will be obviously indulge in bloodshed and also that was a problem for for uh, for uh, for classical scholarship who was was shedding blood before Adam so that the angel could say are you going to put someone there who will be shedding blood and so on they say they must have seen that for creature before Adam and usually because shedding blood in the way is worthy of condemnation must be of creatures who are responsible. Because shedding blood by the animals is due to the natural law, due to physiology, due to need to eat. That cannot be worthy of condemnation, cannot be regarded as evil. But so, but they say, so someone who caused corruption, it was only a being which is... So they conclude 
that there must be some and they have long stories about jinn and iblis and fighting uh, evil people from his own tribe and things like that and ascending in the higher ranks or all of these imaginary stories none, none of it is from the prophet sallam, in first place and <laughs> and none has any ground it's just imagination running wild try to explain that but this is not necessary even that's not necessary why Allah may have explained them. This being will be having this. Will have this capacity. He will. He will. Uh, he will by because of the freedom. Uh, the the uh, the uh, that he has the the, the genuine uh, uh, free will and genuine ca- capacity. But by necessity, it's finite and limited, and he cannot be always functioning properly. There will be mischief and bloodshed. They say, how come that you are going to do that? They don't, need, they don't need necessarily to be known there. Maybe he told them about that, that it's going to be like that. That's the reason he answered, Despite all of that, I know many other important things about him which you don't know. One of it is that this capacity of Odin, later on he showed him the example. If you assume the angel is real persons and he discusses it, it's not a metaphorical for some uh, another discourse. Let's assume it is, it is really angels and personalities with limited capacity of understanding. Let's assume that. Not necessarily just a, a metaphorical uh, metaphorical ex- expansion of certain things which have another, uh, d- a bit deeper meaning. And uh, uh, then he, uh, then Adam was given the capacity to name, and then he uh, uh, asked the angel, name these things. They were unable because they don't have the concepts, capacity to do it. Meaning, if they have any, any uh, uh, consciousness or rational capacity, it is quite limited. Not creative enough like the one Adam has. Mm-hmm. So, who said that it's necessary that will be creation before that was there were jinns in the earth and fighting and shedding blood? And the, besides, jinns are support jinns, uh, which jinns come from the hidden ones, like ghosts and so on. These are the, su- supposed theoretically, <laughs> they don't have blood to shed. <laughs> so, uh, people just, uh, people sometimes get stuck with something. And uh, they they uh, let their imagination. I have no problem. It's, it's okay to develop such an imagination, but you should be conscious that this is it should be presented like in tafsir. That's a possibility. Allah alam what is what it has been. And also offer the other possibility is that that may be metaphorical for something else. Assuming that the angels are really. Uh, uh, you know, Shef, a lot of people believe there's no majaz in Quran. Oh, this is nonsense. That's, 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 we, we should discount that. That is completely nonsensical. That's ab- utterly absurd. That's utterly absurd. I know this is Ibn Taymiyyah point of view. It's a catastrophic point of view. It will defeat him immediately. It will destroy him immediately. It will destroy the Quran, destroy him immediately. There's plenty of majaz there. Like, for example, and, and uh, uh, whatever you say, Wahi. Wahi is usually the Wahi uh, inspiration is the hidden speech or putting something in your, in your mind or something in your feeling. That's the original meaning. Yeah. yeah? Uh, or, or hinting something. Like when it says about Zakaria, he was Zakaria asked for uh, when he asked for, for a child and he was in, in high age. Or actually, he didn't ask actually for a child. When he asked for someone who will inherit, someone reliable who will inherit the leadership in the temple or something like that, from from the house of Jacob, and obviously at that time things have been declined, has become so corrupted that there was a real fear that things will be completely lost. There will be nobody who is at least keeping the tradition, the honest tradition. And then he was giving the good news that he will have a child. I say, uh, it's too old for that. Give me a sign, and the sign that he was unable, the sign for him only that he was unable to speak. He knows that, but the people do not know that. When he came out, what the Quran said, he showed them that he cannot speak and gave them a sign, do tasbih and so on, praise morning and evening. There are certain signs people understand from morning and evening. He gave them hints. Now, look, the word wahi is used, if you call it majaz, or you call it metaphorical, or you call it extended in the meaning, when Allah talks about, uh, about the bees. Oh, Your Lord inspired the bees. The word, exactly the same word you said, that the word used that inspiration to Muhammad, inspiration to previous prophets. 
the exactly the same word. So what's the inspiration of the bees? Did they get messenger? Inspiration of bees is just what is imprinted in the genes and the gene and 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 in and, and the physiology and and uh, and uh, the uh, the because I don't think they I don't think the bees are are uh, having uh, although they have quite a, a sophisticated nervous system but I don't think it's it's one which can can do any analysis in that sense. But the way the, yes. the way the genes and the evolutionary process sorted many, them out so that the they birds, hmm? share many of like the birds have a special eyesight where they uh, see fields and then this is the way they you know immigrate from one place to another uh, uh, because the immigration of the bears i think it's, it's, it's until now i don't think there's any any persuasive theory really uh, until now, some people say they are able to they have capability of detecting the magnetic field of the yeah. earth and sorted out I, I, it's is is uh, is is a bit really amazing. Uh, don't go to the bears. More amazing, even I think, because maybe bears may be high up, and they can. Uh, and if you are high up, really, you could see uh, the horizon is far away, and then you can have certain landmark. But the problem is that sometimes they immigrate. The new bears immigrate, which have never immigrated before. Maybe if you have one immigration, yes, you may have a memory of that, and there's no reason to doubt that animals have a reasonable memory. They have. They recognize like for pets, they recognize you and recognize the foreigners and so on. That's clear. No, but but what's about salmon, which goes up the same rivers, which they have been uh, the the century the same area which they have been originally came as babies. Yeah, that's that's to quite lay the eggs. Quite yeah. quite difficult to lay the eggs. Quite difficult really to 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 uh, uh, to uh, uh, to uh, sort out how it is. And uh, and uh, how it de 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 developed or through evolution. I'm not saying it's Im not impossible to uh, evolution can be the, for the, for the tuning at the moment, the beginning of the universe, the parameters are shown in such a way. Then evolution will develop that way. That's, that's not an issue. That's not an issue. It doesn't undermine the 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 problem is that some people think that an evol evolution theory will negate the uh, the meaning of Allah being acting in the universe. That's not true. That. All the action is it guided evolution, or it's like random, random mutation, and or or that Allah, you know, He's the one who created the system, and yeah, so He and, knows. And put the the, the basic, the basic, what you call maqadir kul shay, the basic proportion and system at the beginning with the initial parameters, such that it develops in this way. But does not exclude that there be sometimes an, an, uh, d deliberate in, in, in uh, interjection in the system by like by quantum fluctuations, by by random mutation and things like that. It, it is not excluded. It's very well possible that there, there, there'll be in, in. Who said that Allah is, is is obliged not to interfere? He can. He can do, and he did, and clearly he did in various miracles, and he can do continuous. Maybe he's done continuously in a way we don't know in the quantum level. Because the quantum fluctuation needs some kind of of, of a binding, a hidden parameter or uh, some something to to to, to get. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever it is, yeah. Okay. Or let alone to develop. So I think this is all based on 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 uh, on fake understanding of the meaning of the of, of the of the creation and the divine power. It's, it's, it, they yeah, think it, they it, think if, you if know, things like develop, they know. develop somehow. They develop in their intrinsic capability. They can't. They develop from the capabilities and the, the initial design made in the zero point. And along the way, there are more, more can be uh, acquired by 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 uh, by evolution, by developments, and possibly by in, by 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 in, uh, divine interference in certain situation. Because in the in the universe with with the, with the, with, the, with the, in a quantum universe there are there are fluctuation and things like that which uh, needs uh, uh, need and uh, needs sometimes to be directed and sometimes to be suppressed, and this is within the divine power. Huh. Uh, but just just an, an, a small side remark, uh, I, I was reviewing quickly the the Penrose theory, obviously the Penrose theory of the eternal universe which emerged from the, uh, and he's trying to, to find in the, in the, uh, in the background radiation some signs that, that this universe emerged from a black hole or from a previous universe or something like that. 
definitely there uh, all all his attempts to find anything in the, in the background radiation has failed and has been proven to be wrong there's no question that that we have a universe which started you know, with uh, uh, the initial phase is the inflation phase the hyperinflation phase and that goes back by necessity to singularity and it is uh, it is uh, the problem if, if he wants that to be repeated for uh, forever that's not possible in 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 in, uh, in a universe which have quantum fluctuations although he argued that the fluctuation is the one who made from the black hole and universe but he he's he's undermining who just just a quick remark for those who may have read penrose uh, there's a catastrophic problem there because quantum fluctuation by by necessity is completely undetermined otherwise it's not a quantum fluctuation it's it's, 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 it's strictly deterministic but for the universe to be going in an internal cycle, even if I, should, I, I argue this is impossible, rationally impossible, because this eternal cycle is only a, a mental, uh, is an expansion of the mental, of what we have in the mind, to both sides in time, like exp extending time in the back, in the pa past, without beginning, in the fr front without end, in the front of the end, because it's not yet here. The, the future is open, but if you extend it to the back like that, you make the, the the past is open. But the past should have happened already. So how can it be open the same? There's the fundamental contradiction there in making the past. The time must go to a zero point, and there's no negative time. It is just, just a, 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 this is a, a failure of the mind, uh, of, of the human limited mind, in extending time backwards, uh, thinking it can extend to minus infinity. It's not. It's impossible. Although you, you could... You could uh, or you cannot even imagine it, but you can extend it and you can describe it mathematically. I have said mathematical structure, but we know from mathematics that the, if you extend to so-called the x-axis, if we take the time as x-axis to minus infinity, we have a space which is not which is open, which is not self-concluded. If we want to close it, we adjoin the point at infinity and then we compactify. Then it becomes like a circle. Or like a, a surface if, if someone having difficulty understanding that please go and try to get a little bit more mathematics to see that and if you do that for example the mathematician do that for example in for the exponential function which is every way defined but it goes but goes uh, to, towards infinity uh, to uh, every possible value especially if it's extended the complex plane if you reverse the 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 the, the exponential function which is a very fundamental function is the, the, the function of disintegration and growth it's very the nature is governed by the exponential function. Uh, the, oh, the the inverse of the equation is the logarithm. The natural exponential function is the reverse of the natural logarithm, but you can't take the the logarithms of the base ten. Doesn't make much difference. It's just a factor. That logarithm can be defined for all complex number except the negative axis. The negative axis is off limit. It has to be cut. It's defined only in the cut plane. It's impossible. It's impossible. That's the way mathematics should be done, probably. But that's using mathematical tools to control the imagination, extending the imagination. So whatever it is, uh, Penrose theory requires, must, must contradict uh, quantum fluctuation, which he invokes to get a universe from a previous universe by fluctuation. It's not possible. It has to be completely deterministic, meaning the, the, uh, the, the, these cycles are absolutely de uh, de deterministic, and even in that in that situation, then we end in a contradicting okay, the physical reality. The same yeah, we can contradict the physical reality of the universe. It's impossible. And the other one is obviously uh, the, is a better approach, the approach of Hawkins, uh, going to the uh, uh, flip again like last summer, flippy flippy flippy. Uh -huh. It is it's absurd also. Anyway, the initial condition of, of a four-dimensional or 23-dimensional space or whatever it is in which a fluctuation happened and then suddenly one, one, one dimension because everything was dead and silent and suddenly one became time to, to, because time has to start. There's no way. It must start somewhere. It's, it's, it's just absurd. Unless you ascribe to this fluctuation such attributes which makes it essentially divine. So he's ending where he has tried to escape. Sheikh, if you can write us that, that on, on a piece of paper in English, we can send it, uh, uh, be written. Yeah, or, 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 or if the recording, someone can transcribe it and then we edit it and make it something nice. But this is, uh, so so neither Hawkins theory will solve us. It ended with having some kind of a super, 
supranatural fluctuation, which is essentially another name of God or a divine being, or in an eternal universe, which must be absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely and uh, uh, deterministic, not even, not not even uh, not even fifty places behind the comma, infinitely behind the comma, absolutely deterministic. So what we are doing now was some, according to that, in another universe, repeated exactly uh, without even the, the, the smallest conflict, not even to the Planck, uh, Planck level. Any fluctuation will, will destroy this, this, uh, uh, this uh, if it's really non-deterministic. You have to postulate that every fluctuation at every time is doing the same, exactly the same. That it is not a fluctuation. It's not, a, it's not an, uh, completely arbitrary and quantile. Is just giving another name to something which we don't know what's it. Even Penrose says that his idea is more like of the Hindu uh, tradition. But it, it doesn't work. I, all I think all yeah. is I, all come concerning one of the brothers. I think he said that he's more persuaded by Ibn Taymiyyah's uh, uh, events without beginning. I think this is this is the, this is an, an, an mental illusion. The mind is fooling you. Because you think you can go in time past and past and past, and then the mind may, uh, or, or the, 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 you have a mental illusion that you can go, go without limit. It can't be because the past has already happened, and that it has happened and concluded is we know in this sharp moment. Obviously, as a human, we cannot have a sharp moment in that sense, uh, uh, but that sharp moment, what we call this very sharp moment, the whole situation of the universe, including our situation, my situation in front of the computer and the camera, your situation in front of your computers and camera, etc., and the situation maybe was happening in New York City, and the situation happening in a galaxy billions of years ago, uh, billions of years far away. Uh, so what's happening now, which we cannot access because of the limitation of the speed of light, all of this current situation of the universe, current state of the universe, if we have a super wave function of the whole universe, something like that, that current, that 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 is the result of all events in the past before that even if we say it with the light cone whatever it is in the causal back there's no escape and that has been completed and concluded with the present so it can't be open it is closed the past can't be open by definition but that the that, that our imagination if we extend it by, by, overboard can fool us and get us an, a mental, what they call it, should we call it mental or conscious illusion? Mental illusion is very well possible. The same that we have optical illusions and also audible illusions. We have these types of illusion. And we know that they are illusion, although sometimes, sometimes, like for example, you, you may have seen some of these pictures, the nicely drawn picture which produced. And this, uh, one of the simplest one of them is that the two the two faces which look uh, if you look at it in one way you think two faces facing each other and another way it looks like uh, like a, a candle or something like that you know it is it is something else but your eyes still you are unable to overcome the illusion although you know it's an illusion but uh, Thankfully, our rational capacity, not imagination, rational capacity is, cap is capable of, of, uh, of settling the issue one way or another, that we can conclude. The same here, rational capacity, applying mathematical tools, get us in a space which we can study mathematically without a contradiction, but if we go to the matter of going to the limit or trying to close it and to make it complete, we immediately recognize that this was, that original was just, just a, uh, just a structure which exists in the mind and can be analyzed mathematically. That, that a structure exists in the mind and can be analyzed mathematically does not mean it can exist outside. The same thing like uh, in a, a higher level, even in the linguistic level, which is higher than the mathematical level, the le level of, of, of creating concept and words, that we may construct words for things or uh, which, uh, which refer to absolutely nothing, to an impossible thing. So let's back, go back to the. So I, I think the the uh, all the ob usual objections about uh, ev evolution theory is uh, in, in the case of Islam. In the case of Old Testament, uh, the problem is that the description of creation in in the Old Testament is definitely faulty and contradicts things. Which is, there's no way to interpret it whatever you want. Like for example, the claim that uh, one of the 
one one of the claim is that that uh, because of the sin la, uh, death came in the world that's definitely not the case that can't be the case that's impossible it's contradictory that's the reason for them cre- uh, evolution theory is is is, 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 is catastrophic you have to face the fact that the, that the, the description that is just in genesis is not is, is not reliable it's it's fundamentally faulty Ah. It's for the, for, there's no way there's no way to get out of this one but whatever whatever I, I invite anyone to give us a metaphorical interpretation of that there's no way that the sin caused the death to come in the world that's number one that's not true that the other things that that the sin of Adam has been forgiven and he has asked for forgiveness that's what the Quran stressed to that with this way the original sin have been swept out of the way you yeah. If you believe in the Quran is a revelation, well, we have to discuss that one day and bring the evidence for that. Then this is what God is telling us that what has happened. If you believe Muhammad is a, is a genius, this is a genial solution. This way, the complete root, the, the full root of, of, of Christianity has been swept aside. Because the whole thing is going around justifying the sacrificial of, 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 of Christ as the Son of God to remove that enormous... Uh, uh, sin which brought uh, death into the world. It's none of that. And that sin is gone with our repentance. And also the hadith stress that. Like who does that and that who go to a hajj and does not do any, does not indulge in any sexual misconduct or does not commit any sin, does not fight with anybody, devote himself completely during the pilgrimage, he will return back as he is f- pure from sin as if newborn. Meaning the newborn is pure of sin. So there is no inherited sin. Not only according to the Quran, but according to the overwhelming Ahadith Sunnah. Who does this and does that, return without sin. Who made this and this will be pure like a sinless born. So nobody is born in sin. This is this is catastrophic for for the for the Christian uh, doctrine of uh, the of uh, atonement of the original sin. There's no original sin. In addition, obviously, there's a secondary issues, relatively secondary to the fundamental issue of, of the initial sin, is the issue of uh, of uh, uh, Adam being the one who really the guilty one, or the, at least as a leader. Yes, he participated with him, but, but uh, definitely she. And also these uh, footnote stories that she was cursed and and uh, the, and that she she was all the, that she as a punishment she would be bleeding and she would be having a difficulty in a childbirth and all of this. This is all we don't need to discuss that. This is all nonsense. This has never happened. <laughs> With all respect, I, I don't want to offend our Christian and Jewish brothers, but that's that's the reality. This is all nonsense. This is just uh, people collecting old 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 documents, analyzing them, putting them together. Maybe with the best intention to give a picture of what, what has happened at the beginning of the creation with the result that we have this calamity on the table. The problem is it became a calamity when that declared to be infallible and written under the supervision of the Holy Spirit. That's the calamity. Not that the people did that. People would do that. You receive a revelation from prophets, for example. S- some of it is metaphorical. We know that it's a very important point to keep in mind that that uh, previous prophets were 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 speaking uh, more extensively in parables and, and and proverbs more than later and later until, until even the time of Isa he was talking mostly in uh, in giving uh, examples and parables and even he said explicitly if that's true Allah alam if it's true but it doesn't think that it's not true because it is according to the principle of embarrassment it's quite embarrassing for a divine being to uh, to to tell his followers uh, listen, I have many things to tell you, but you are not capable of carrying it now. Why he is not making them capable to carry it now, if he's the son of God. But anyway, and the one when he, the Parkeritos or the Parkeritos or what is his name, or the Comforter or Mushakkah or whatever the, the Syriac translation comes, he will explain all of the things which I could not explain. So we know from that that the previous, from this and from the Old Testament and the Book of Revelation and that most of what the prophets have been saying in time past, most of it, not all of it, is metaphorical and giving example. Like for example, the following metaphor, that that the nature of man and woman different, and this is giving the metaphorical claim that that that, uh, that Eve is created from the from the rib of Adam. But you will find simple-minded people until today in the Islamic world also when they hear a hadith in that direction and they start counting the ribs. Maybe a man is having one rib missing. <laughs> what, what does a hadith mean, Sheikh? 
It's simple. It, 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 it is from the same nature like Adam, from the same soul, but it's different. If you want, if you want her to be to be as straight as you think you are straight, you will break her. And the same for her. She is she is relative to herself. She's straight. You are twisted. You have to accept that her nature is different than yours, and your and, and your nature is different than hers. Enjoy her as uh, what you think is I watch. That's 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 the way you should interpret the the, the statement of Allah. Uh, and what? Yeah, that's the correct. That's no other. It's not having to do with the creation, nor she's taking a rib, nor any of that. That's all metaphorical. Well, this in Old Testament is 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 presented as if it's really uh, physically happening, and and the people uh, and the people. Uh, uh, the the people interpreting the hadith this way they are mistaken. That's that's the only interpretation. Yeah, can we go to the creation in six days? Because yeah, you know we have some of the tafsir say you know it's al ahad al sabt. That's is nonsense. That's that's uh, that's utter nonsense. Or 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 already is 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 discounted by classical scholars like Ibn Kathir. So the hadith of of Huraira that that. Uh, uh, the Prophet has recounted Sabbath Ahad, etc., is, is, uh, is, is faulty. He must be from Kabul Ahbar. Because the, the days of creation are complete. Because, and also, the way day and Quran mean a phase of, of time. And the Quran gives examples of days which are, which are, which are one year, uh, uh, like uh, 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 thousand years, another day is 50,000 in the Quran. And also, the hadith mentioned various other phases of, of creation, like, like for example, uh, the hadith which says, uh, interesting, actually, I have it somewhere he opened. As I wanted also to warn about some point. Let me get that hadith. Uh, the hadith is the following. Uh, it says, uh, uh, this, uh, this not is excellent, by the way. So, uh, nothing can be doubted about that. It's, it's first class, one of the first six class, uh, That uh, from Abu Huraira, that the Messiah Allah said, between the two blasts of the horn. Now, what's the blast of the horn? What does it mean? Most people say that Israfil, one angel is holding a horn, and uh, and uh, and they blow in it. Now this uh, this uh, if 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 you if you think of Israif Israfil like looking like a man, a huge man, whose head in the uh, top heaven and his foot in the depth of the earth, like some narration claim, and uh, he having a horn like the horn which we have, like the Jews have for calling the shofar, calling for it, then, then you cannot be saved. Clearly, uh, that's just a metaphorical for announcement, because horn is used for announcing things, battle horn and things like that, is announced. So, so between the two blow, blowing in the horns, like Quran said, they do fiqh sur. They blown in the horn, the first one, and then the second one. Arba'un. That's what Abu Huraira said. They said, Ya Abu Huraira, Arba'un yawman, qala abayt. I refuse to, to accept that as arba'in. Arba'un shahra, said abayt. Qala arba'un sana, 40, 40 years, 40 days, 40 months, 40 years, every time I refuse to, to accept that. Uh, what I hear is only 40 from the Messenger of Allah. Okay? So we have uh, another uh, 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 distance c c counted in 40. What they are 40, we don't know. 40, 40, 40, mada, days, years, months, we don't know. Then, con yeah. then he continues okay. saying, that's an interesting point, just as a warning for those who, uh, who may confront the hadith. He continues saying, وَيَبْلَى كُلُّ شَيْءٍ مِنَ الْإِنسَانِ إِلَّا عَجَبُ الذَّنَبِ مِنْهُ يُرَكَّبُ الْخَلْقِ And everything from a human being will disintegrate and go away, except the final piece of the tail. That's the last uh, uh, remaining, uh, like, like uh, uh, what you call it, the last remaining of, 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 of the... Um, the spinal cord, what's the name of the uh, pieces of spinal cord? Um, uh, uh, vertebrae, like vertebrae, the final, uh, the final degenerate vertebrae, yeah, which is which is stuck in 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 the in the in the in the in the how in the upper bones of of the uh, under under body, yeah. And from which the creation will, will be restarted. M many people will, will struggle with this and tell you, ah, what, what does the messenger mean? In reality, because they don't open their eye when they read the hadith. That's the statements from Abu Huraira, not from the messenger of Allah. The messenger of Allah said only between the two blasts is 40 days. That's all what he said. And that's a, that's a continuation. But the people assume when they see that, because there was the intervening questioning, say, ah, oh, they intervened with these questions and so on, and they stopped him. Then he continued. That continuation, they assume it is a part of the hadith. It's not. 
So you don't yeah. need to bother your head about Ajab al Dhanaba, the issue of Ajab al Dhanaba and creation. Uh, just to simply refute it, just very simple. If someone is, uh, and this happened actually in history, if someone is completely banned in a, in a, in a, in a high oven in which uh, steel is produced, and uh, it happened to someone, if he fell in a high oven, he would be completely gone, including Ajab al Dhanaba. And still he will be resurrected. There's no need for anything to be resurrected from. <laughs> these these things also in 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 matter of tradition and writings and so on. You have also to be very scrutinizing what's really genuinely from the prophet, which you can attribute infallibility to it, and then when it is genuinely established to be established, or with the, with the highest possible value, many things you cannot establish with certitude. All what you can hope for is to establish beyond reasonable doubt. Certitude meaning beyond any possible doubt. Most things, except few things of Tawatr and Quran, is uh, only beyond reasonable doubt, not without any possible doubt. And then you have to Just ask yourself, is it metaphorical or not metaphorical, and all these things. Normally, you find classical scholarship, barely they do that. They tend to be, they tend to be working in the Zahir and maybe at best in the beginning button of the meaning, the external meaning and maybe a little bit of a deeper meaning. But they never went into the various deep layers of meanings. Uh, so, so, uh, Sheikh, uh, there is like a, a verse from the Quran, Surah Fussilat. I just want to like uh, read the verses and, and show some data we. We got like from online. I, I told you I have a like a friend that yeah, studies archaeology. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, it's in Muhammad Al Masari debate channel. Sheikh, I don't know if you can navigate it or not. But no, no, like, I just on... read it for me. No, no, I, I, I don't okay. know how to navigate. Okay. So the, the, the verses uh, uh, goes as following. I, I will read it in Arabic and English. قل إنكم لا تكفرون بالذي خلق الأرض في في يومين وتجعلون له أندادا ذلك رب العالمين وجعل فيها رواسيا من فوقها وبارك فيها وقدر فيها أقوادها في أربعة أيام سواء للسائلين ثم استوى إلى السماء وهي دخان فقال لها والأرض اتيا طوعا أو كرها قالت أتينا طائعين فقضاهن سبع سماوات في يومين وأوحى في كل سماء أمرها زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وحفظناها ذلك تقدير العزيز الحكيم Now I read it in English Say uh, uh, it is that uh, ye deny him who created the earth in two days and the, uh, do you, uh, ye join equal with him he is the lord of all the worlds he sat on the earth mountain standing firm high above it and bestowed blessing on the earth uh, and measured therein all things to give them nourishment uh, in due proportion in four days in accordance with the need of uh, these who, who seek Sheikh, if, if we take this verse about Come, just, complete complete uh, complete that there is to this with the heavens yeah okay uh, and then in, uh, in four days in accordance with the need of those who seek. Moreover, he comprehended in, in his design the sky, and it has been as a smoke. He said to it and to the earth, Come ye together, willing or unwillingly. They said, uh, We do come together in willing obedience. So he completed them as seven uh, 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 firmaments in two days, and he assigned to, uh, to each heaven its duty and command, and we uh, uh, adorned the lower heavens, the Samawat Dunya, uh, with lights, and provided it with guard, such in the decree of him, the exalted in might, full of knowledge. So, Sheikh, th th these are, are the Surah uh, Fussilat. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some people take it about, you know, the creation of all the universe from, from Big Bang, but if we take no, it no. about just the Earth, it's and just, we say the exactly. Earth is 4.5 billion uh, years. So if we divide uh, it into uh, six parts, it will be uh, three parts of 1.5 billion years. So 1.5 billion. But, but the problem, days, the problem with that is that you are assuming that these days are of this equal length, which is yeah, yeah. there's no necessity yeah. for that. This is for four phases. Well, it is it is divided it, it's divided into two days. The phases are divided into two days each, right? Yeah, nevertheless, there's it's, it's no no evidence that that the days are e equal, neither in the first phase nor second or third phase. Yes, yes, but 
Mm. When you look at data, for example, uh, maybe you, you you can see it in in in. Uh, yeah, it it may be. I'm uh, not I'm not saying. I say it's yeah. not necessary. That's number one. And secondly, you say it's real the creation of the earth. And then the interesting things here is uh, uh, is the uh, is is the the, the issue of of uh, uh, the, the 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 heavens being later shaped, etc. Uh, if you consider that it's just the, our sky, it's not talking about all of the universe. It's going to talk, talk about Samawat Dunya. Yeah, but but let, let, let's go. That's that's very good. You are approaching something which is very interesting. Chef, because really, if you look at the data about the 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 smoke and it coming, and that happening in the last two days, which is exactly 1.5 billion years ago, and it's exactly when oxygen became uh, in, in in saturated yeah. in, in that level. Yeah, I saw I saw this 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 uh, the, the picture you spoke. And also mm. for the mountains, also for the mountains, like it says that, it, like the the modification stopped by three uh, uh, by three billion or 1.5 billion years ago. Like there is a continuous remodeling of the of the. Uh, a crust of the crust, earth. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's 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 that's, a, that's a possibly a good interpretation, a good hint. But uh, it it is also interesting that uh, let me just give you a key which helps in these things. First of all, out on the seven earths and so on, Ibn Abbas has a uh, this a good description and say they they are on top of each other and rotating like like uh, like uh, like a top. So it is the various layers of the earth. I would say this. Uh, the best for, uh, for these seven earths is really the various layers of the earth starting maybe we have we have the core we have the 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 cent central core i think which is liquid then we have the external core which is uh, solid and this interesting i think if you might remember correctly because the the pressure and the temperature in the in the center is higher than uh, around it so the central one is, is is liquid somehow anyway we can you can review that this, uh, then we have well, then we have what is the next level, what they call the next one? Uh, mantle, I think. Mantle. The mantle, we have the inter inner mantle, medium mantle, and oh. top mantle, that's three. Uh, so they have five layers yeah. now. And then we have the layer number six is the is the lithosphere. That's the rock and, and, and uh, mostly continental, but also oceanic floor. And then we have the, the fifth level is the, is the, uh, uh, is the biosphere. And that's that's the day. That's where we live. We are in the we are on the in the seventh, so that that fits correctly, and this is distinguished uh, geologically quite reasonably. Now the the the, the various heavens, uh, in, in the heavens meant there are most likely are seven layers or seven levels of of the atmosphere and the, uh, up to the Van Allen. Uh, uh, Do they have to belt. be seven literal seven or not literal seven? Uh, it may be seven. Why not? Uh, we have to count them, and then it may give us a guide that there is really that's really uh, certain certain separation in which we should be counted differently. Yes, but like I mean, this is subjective. This is the thing on how you divide the earth. No, it's not. It's not. The there are there are characteristic which, is, uh, for example, we have the Van Allen belt. We have the lower. Uh, we have the troposphere. We have the stratosphere. We have various spheres which each one has certain characteristic as well. The, the clouds are having a characteristic for it. So this could be that one. And it also, Professor, when it says "wabaraka fiha," here "wabaraka fiha," it can it here "baraka" is increasing in number, increase. Oh, baraka is this general, is increasing in everything, increasing in goods, increasing in in uh, in. Uh, and like in, we in, can even see from another diagram that I don't have right now. I'm I'm trying to find it that. Also, we had the bacteria. Oh no! Actually, you 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 can find f from there that, like the sequences, Sheikh, like they're perfect. The sequence is exactly perfect. perfect. You, I I, su I, su I, su I suggest since you are interested in that area, compare that what is yeah. available, the various levels of the atmosphere up to the the external one, which may be uh, something that they call it magnetosphere. I think you will find seven ultimately so what religion what religion what creation story in any religion says that the sama was dukhan this is revolutionary like this is 
Yeah, yeah. No without, I'm not doubting that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to synchronize that with science and to take it as an evidence of the Quran. There are other, even stronger things like that than that in the Quran and in the Sunnah. We can we can come to that when we come to revelation. But assume it is a revelation, then we have to understand to see if it fits with the reality or if it is such contradiction that's impossible to accept. Like for example, the Old Testament as it stands. It cannot be by divine protection because it has a statement which is manifestly and absolutely refutable. Like the death Stop. coming to the world before that life was eternal, death coming to the world. And there are things which we know from from then from Quran and other discourse that like for example the inherited sin which yeah. is irrational. Like, uh, the issue of uh, accusing uh, uh, Eve for the, the problem seems to be also irrational because Adam is supposed to be the leader. And he's supposed to, uh, how come that he accuses his wife? It, it, it sounds odd and not acceptable. Uh, what, 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 in addition, the, uh, the, which issue that was there, which is that, 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 that the, the devil is not mentioned as such and so on. Obviously, the, 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 the story misses the issue of the angel prostrating, be it metaphorical or factual, what is it, is obviously reserved for the final revelation. The Quran says clearly, there is a great news which you are unaware about. I, I was not present when the supreme audience were disputing. When Allah said, I will create a human, etc., etc., and the Iblis rebelled, etc., that may be not revealed before, so the people are not aware about it, cannot be blamed about that. So uh, it's very important, uh, things like that, to see if it can. But uh, this, this indicates that when we talk about seven heavens in this, in this ayah, it means these seven layers of the atmosphere, or if it's the number is not exact, but I think it's exact. I think if you g get exactly with all these things, that we'll, we'll get. In another places, <laughs> In other places, heavens, so sama, sama meaning um, anything above you, including anzalna min as sama iman. The water came from a sama. That's from 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 some of the lower the lower families. Books of the Jews and 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 the, and the Christians. Now, I think there's a hadith where Rasulullah kissed the Torah, and we have verses like musaddiqan lima bayna yaday. So the Christians say like, if our book has a total different. You know, it's that God. We don't, we don't say no. We, we do not. How, we do. Can, how can the Prophet affirm this book if, if, like, he does not believe in it in in its context? No, no. What he, is the no, meaning of affirmation? No, 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 no. If if the Prophet respected the Torah, the book, and treated with respect, not kissed, but it put it and say, "Amad biki waladi anzalaki," that what is contained it in Revelation does not mean all of it because the Quran says clearly. It cannot, his action cannot contradict, his, let's assume he fabricated the Quran. In some places, in various places say, uh, uh, in, in, in some places he challenged them to bring the Torah and read it, to show that they are lying. In one other places say, uh, well, uh, uh, about the books that we don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have, in another place said, uh, 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 the, the Quran will 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 expose to you what you what you what you have what you have been hiding from the book, what you have been mis mis uh, uh, misrepresenting. So uh, the the books are not necessary. Uh, all of it is uh, is being being uh, uh, being uh, uh, declared to, to be uh, true. Uh, that if 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 you if you give if you give me for example the the Bible, I will respect it. Because I know there is good considerable amount. Like for example, it's enough that that that, that in Deuteronomy or what was it in another place that you have the Ten Commandments. That's enough to to make the book worth of respect. Does not mean that the story of creation is correct. And musaddiqan affirming. Affirming, yeah. And affirming and muhaymanan alay, controlling over it, correcting its mistake and changing its law. That's al muhaymin. Muhaymin is the controller. The dominant over it. So what matches the Quran is from God, and what clearly contradicts, then this is where it's Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that's it. And also, uh, no, but also Muhammad Ali have two aspects in case of injunction, the commandments. They may be or from man. God originally, but they have been abrogated. Also, the Haiman contains two things: correcting the mistakes and abrogating the previous law. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 a, a, a non-issue. I don't think this is that's that's the faulty argument. That's like say the uh, uh, the uh, if, if you take the book of uh, like the, uh, the 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 famous treatise of uh, Newton, which contains uh, the mechanics and the beginning of a uh, and they say this book has ch changed history. So very, 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 very
all all the development of mechanics and so no but it contains the roots does it mean it doesn't have maybe a mistake here and there it does have mistake here and there people mm -hmm. people sometimes interpret things over the overboard mm -hmm. but this this argument is not very persuasive anyway it's clearly not persuasive uh, well, uh, one example is for example the the, the discussion of challenge about isa and the, and the, the quran clearly, clearly uh, if, if he said uh, uh, that he kissed the torah uh, that may be something the torah not the new testament but we don't know about the new testament if it, it was in that book no this, it was an argument with the jews so it must have, could not have been having the new testament but clearly is, is rejecting that new, new testament story about about the crucifixion and the resurrection mm -hmm. indirectly in the sense is the angel that the quran referring to the same as the four books or is it the word of Jesus Christ? Just the words that came out of his mouth. What uh, is the uh, injection uh, that is referred in the Quran? Uh, that, that's only what, what Jesus has read as an injection. And it has been woven by the writer into, into a bi biographic narrative, which is not really a biography. It's more like, like a novel, written like more like a literary art of novel, not really as a history. Because they did not do, it's not like the Sira in the, uh, the, the Sira or Maghazi in the case of Muslim, uh, Islam, because Sira and Maghazi are relying on Isnad, collecting various as a need, comparing various narrations, balancing is this is a more reliable one, this reliable one, and, uh, and putting it on the table. And still, you can go, for example, to Sira ibn Ishaq, or uh, in a certain narrative, in a certain story, for example, certain details say, oh, this is actually, we can reject that story and uh, based on the other narration, other place. So it is regarded as a, as a historic writing or close to historic writing, uh, while the, the so-called Gospels are more like a novel writing. But they, they don't do any uh, historic balancing or mentioning from whom they have heard that or give any isnad or give anything like that. Except maybe John, when he claims that uh, this is, he got it from the disciple, which was beloved to Christ, and uh, uh, and clearly, I would say, highly high probability, almost certainly, he is lying, because that uh, beloved disciple is allegedly. Uh, he mentioned that there was one disciple called John, in which uh, uh, that uh, that uh, Christ on the cross told him uh, uh, to, to him. The, this is your mother pointing to his mother Maryam and pointing to Maryam uh, woman or Maryam he said even woman a disrespect uh, a, a, a form of disrespect uh, this is your son before he expired now we know from the other gospels that definitely nobody from the disciples or anybody everyone ran away and even the women were watching from far away <laughs> so there was nobody at the foot of the cross <laughs> that's, a, that's a dramatic <laughs> that's a drama that's a drama that's the only one and uh, in, in the opening of uh, luke luke is closer to history it's more like historical but still and of course he said uh, addressing uh, theophilus someone called theophilus that uh, there were so many gospels around and uh, they are confusing and contradicting and they go, put the effort to uh, go uh, go and analyze them and check them with other sources and so on so he put uh, like a general uh, heading that he did some effort in verification and checking without giving the details and uh, the various references mm -hmm. so that's that's it so uh, the, the good news the which which isa has brought is essentially the coming of muhammad and the coming of the kingdom the coming of the kingdom is not the one after yom al qiyamah like most christian claim that's the coming of the kingdom the coming of the kingdom or the coming the coming of the kingdom kingdom of god is the coming of the law which will be dominant and controlling society that's the that's islamic revelation that's 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 the best interpretation and the one who will explain everything and so on which they interpret as the holy spirit and things like that which is obviously does, the context does not allow for that professor would you inshallah next week we have uh, a debate kind of with 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 Christians on the Trinity, I think that like, we would have so many people, you know, willing to to join this this kind of discussion if you're willing. No problem, no problem. But uh, 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 okay, yeah. Although, uh, yeah, uh, Trinity is, is is a fix to 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 fix the problem which has been made by making Jesus divine. We can we can choose something else within Christianity. Just give me what no, no. what topic. No, no, it's it fine. Is. It's fine. No problem. We can go to the Trinity as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, while we have you, Doctor, is it okay if I... I ha I've had one so far for a while, so is it okay if I ask you about it? 
Mm-hmm. It's a little bit off topic. Yeah, go ahead. It's it's, it's about the uh, the riwaya of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu mm-hmm. anhu. Um and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi very famously said that you know whoever wants to hear uh Quran being recited the way that I recited it then go to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu yeah. anhu. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we know very famously that uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu was was one of the sahaba who uh, he forgot about the last two surahs in the Quran. Not forgot. Um, he said he said they are ruqya, ruqya they they are wahi, but they are, should not be put in the mushaf. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's famous. That's well, that's by Tawatur, Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how how is that how is that uh, not problematic? Because according to the Prophet sallam, he is the authority on the Quran, and then now he's later no, saying something. No, it's not true. The authority in the Quran is Ubay ibn Kaab. We know that but from. Yeah. It also involves Ubay bin Ka'ab, but Bukhari like hides the meaning. Sa'altu Aba Mas'ud, inna sahibaka kadha wa kadha, faqala la qila li, faqultu, fa nahnu naqulu kama qala Rasulullah. Mushaffar al-akhir. So we don't even know what Ubay bin Ka'ab said. No, no, but this is another complete renovation. Bukhari shows a deficient one for some reason or another. Maybe the isnad was better for him or the shorter. There are various reasons, but you have to check. That's the problem with those narrations. You have to check all of them. And so what, them. what does Kaab say? Hmm? Does Ubay uh, bin Kaab say, because say, say, said, said, Allah. So Ubay bin Kaab no, said, that, Allah. not only that, no, no. There's the, the whole story with Ubay bin Kaab that he was asked by one of, of, of the, I think, Abu Aliya, that don't you see your brother, what he's saying about al Qul huwa Allah, Qul huwa which is in Masahif and in people and everywhere in the world. It's not, it's not that Uthman put it or something. That's it's all the whole co- 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 uh, situation is quite is quite am- amazing and shocking. And uh, they said, "What you say? Say, say, listen. Uh, this, this, the he knows he knows that the Prophet was reading it in Salah, and we were reading behind him, and he's in the Masahif." Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, a lengthy statement. Some people narrate part of it. Sometimes so we have to follow all the necessary. And the authority is Ubay ibn Kaab. The real authority is Ubay ibn Kaab in the story when the Prophet skipped one ayah. And then after Salah, he turns and says, Is Ubay present? I say, Yes. I say, Why didn't you make fatah on me? Remind me that I skipped that ayah. He said, I thought it was abrogated. I say, You do fatah to the Imam. Hmm? The Prophet, the Prophet ﷺ forgot the ayah? Skip the ayah, jumped over ayah, and continue the next one. Okay? Oh. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And then he turned after salah. Ask Ubay. Is Ubay present? Ubay said, I'm here. Say, why didn't you do fatah to me? Fatah is reminding the imam that he skipped an ayah or branched in the wrong direction. Sometimes some ayahs are very similar, and they branch. One of the famous places is Sabah Sabah Bikar Ala wa Layli Dayarsha. The end, they have said some people branch at the end of the one to the other. You, you, you know that for, for a mm-hmm. fact. And Ubay said, I thought it's abrogated. The Prophet said, You make fatah. If I, if, I, if I don't read it, then it's abrogated. You have to verify if it's abrogated or not. Mm-hmm. Someone will come, obviously, with Shubha, say, How come the first skip it? The first, the first must skip it one day and give that principle. And that incident has been manufactured by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deliberately to make, to make these two facts apparent. And the Quran says clearly, You will forget by, by Allah's design for certain purposes. Either to, to show what, whether the procedure of rewinding, uh, to show uh, things like that, it's without any doubt. Sheikh, what's the hikmah of nasq? Abrogation. Very, very many hikmah. During the time of the Prophet, for example, let us take the ruling, a uh, very controversial issue of the Rajm, the stoning. The initial ruling, or the initial ruling in, in, when, uh, when the Prophet came to Medina was it that those women who commit fahisha, if you have four witnesses, then lock them away in their homes. So they will be imprisoned for life. And, or until Allah brings for them a relief. Then that was abrogated. That's the ayah in the Quran. That ayah is still there. It was abrogated with the ayat al-rajim. Many people dispute that, but because they don't know how abrogating, abrogation, how Quran works, that there's abrogation also of wording. The ayat al-rajim came, and based on that, 
uh, the ruling sh shade for, for a sh short time. One of the hikmah of it is to put the Jews on the stop uh, spot because they, they abrogated that for their own whim without uh, they being abrogated in the Old Testament. And the famous story of the two Jews who committed zina and so on. And the Hussam ordered them abrogated. He could not have possibly judged them according to the Sharia because the Sharia is mansook for him completely. As you see in the book of Tawheed, that all the previous Sharia, by when the Prophet received the, the injunction in Mecca or the news, I am the Messenger of Allah to all of you, then all previous Sharia has been abrogated because all previous Sharia was given to a certain nation. And then that will, if he is a messenger to all mankind, it will create an impossibility, a rational impossibility that the previous Sharia can exist. Do you want me to give you an example for the impossibility? Yes, please. A Japanese would say, "This is the, 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 the this is the the the, the, uh, the 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 law of Musa is still valid." Say, can, how can it be valid? I'm I'm not addressed by Musa. Musa is addressing Bani Israel. Muhammad is addressing me. So it cannot be the Sharia, previous Sharia, our Sharia. The, the moment it is appointed to mankind, the previous Sharia is struck out. The Quran, Sheikh, they, I think that the, the Jews they have like a quote from the Torah that they say like this is eternal. Yeah, I know, but it, but it, but it is fake because they have in the Torah itself in the later books a certain abrogations. One of them is, for example, the commandment after the Babylonic exile that they should that they should not they should not they should submit to foreign kings as a punishment. That's what that's, that's one of the meaning. Dhulibat alikum adhilatu al maskana. Adhilatu al maskana is not that they prosecuted and uh, and pursued by other. They, no, but they are ordered to submit to foreign kings. And this is the adoption and the, the way the Naturai Carta, for example, insists that establishing a state or establish a authority before the Messiah comes is a grave sin. And that's the reason they pray daily, every morning and evening, that the state of Israel should disappear because it's a catastrophe for the Jews, according to their belief. And that's in the book of Zechariah, not Zechariah, the father of John, Zechariah, the one after the Babylonic ex example. Sheikh, you, you, you know, I, there was one uh, Jew here on Discord, and he's like a smart one, Talmudic one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he told me that if the Messiah come, then they don't have a problem to follow a prophet that is not a Jew. So it's maybe something in their Talmud or, you know, they have a lot of fuck. Maybe, like maybe, but, but but the Messiah ca came and they missed him already. <laughs> we'll come yes. to the Messiah, inshallah. But anyway, no, this, this is so so that was abrogated, and then Ayat al Rajm. After the, the, these two Jews were abrogated, and the Jews was embarrassed and put in the spot uh, in, in 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 this issue, uh, which is narrated by Tawatur, and then few applications were for Muslims. Uh, then after that, the Ayat of Rajm was abro abrogated and were replaced with the uh, uh, replaced completely with the Ayat in Surah Al 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 Nur, flogging both Bikr and Thayyib. خلاص this is the this. But but most Sahaba most Sahaba could not deal with that probably. Especially Umar would not deal in the famous hadith. You have the work of Saqifa. The hadith of Saqifa mentioned this issue. Although the Bahth of Saqifa is not about the stoning, but I mentioned the hadith in full uh, wording yeah. of it. And uh, uh, he before addressing the issue of bay'ah and so on, was Umar was beating around the bush and mentioned various things. One of it is that the Messenger of Allah ordered us not to overpraise him. And he said, don't overpraise me like the Christian, uh, like uh, uh, they, they overpraised Isa ibn Umar. I'm a slave, say the slave or a servant. I'm a servant of Allah and his messenger. Then he continued to say, and some people, that's what Umar undermined his own position without knowing it. Uh, you could say also Allah made him say that in that situation. And some people say that we don't find the Rajm in the book of Allah. And say by Allah, the book of the Ayat Rajm was there and it was abrogated. And uh, I, w I would, uh, if, I, if I have an authority to write it again in the Quran, I would have written it. But it's not possible because it's abrogated, it's gone. And again, we have stoned and the Messenger of Allah stoned. So we are following the Messenger of Allah. But he did not recognize that abrogating an, a, a text uh, abrogates the hukum until we have a, a, a independent evidence. What's the independent evidence that the hukum is also abrogated is that uh, the, the Surah An-Nur, the later one, have come. So abrogated that. So even if the Messenger Allah has stoned, which is correct, and there have been a couple of people stoned, maybe two, Ma'iz and al Juhaniya, yeah, that's the only one, uh, the third woman maybe, or the third man, that's three cases. After that, uh, the, when after Surah Nur has come, there was no stoning. Uh, but the Surah is enough to, to affirm that. So it was the, the Ayatul Rajim was substituted. 
So that's the hikmah, yeah. for, the hikmah for that is really stage, stage or order and also exposing the jewels and very many other hikmahs. Yes. And the Quran says clearly what about the issue of Ras Nasch and answering to the Jews most likely indirectly. Man man and Sahman Ayat and Unsi and Ati Khair Minha or Mithlia. We see within the power of Allah SWT. It has it has also uh, other other hikam, including testing, including, uh, sure, including I, I challenging. Saw speaking to one of but these. But that, that, that explicit mention is is answering definitely because in Surah Al-Baqarah is is uh, the, most of the dialogue is the, the Jews there. Most of it, not all. Yeah. Of it. Is is but is uh, answering uh, answering their claim that this is that uh, the uh, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that the, the law of Moses is eternal. That is the, the, their imagination. Most likely, this this mm -hmm. this phrase is written later. It's, it's fabricated somehow. Uh, so, uh, first, I like want to apologize for being late. Uh, but, um, 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 Doctor, uh, there is also like this ayah in Surah uh, Nisa, twelve and thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to post it in general. This was clearly is about like a, a wife that had committed adultery in this case, like the hukum. And yeah. it's, um, sorry, um, it's to, to imprison them for uh, life. Yeah. Only. Is that the man? Flog, flog, no, yeah, f of, um, take, uh, like swearing four times or and five. Yeah, you, you mean the ayah, Wallati, Wallati, I did a salmon, Fabi, so one of the beauty, now this one, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, um, 15 and 16. Uh, can, uh, read, um, read them because I read it. Can I read it? Yeah, read it. Yeah, yeah. read it quickly, man. It's in general. Okay, just read it out loud. I'm asking you can read it. First, I'm asking you can read it. That's what I mentioned earlier, yeah. This is the first one, yeah. Mm. And after that, well, that well, 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 so it is maybe a cosenic sodomy or something like that. Whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, uh, it, it, that's that's definitely abrogated. No, but I mean uh, the thing is like we have a clear hukum here. Yeah, that, that's what I'm surprised with is that we're uh, like if you want to say it's uh, abrogated in in uh, recitation only then no no ab the abrogated in hukum but but the, the abrogation of hukum is hinted in the ayah itself the possible or Allah will yeah. make another way for them out. Mm. Yeah, so, but, but I'm saying like uh, we have we, we have the verse uh, with the hukum. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Many many verses with the hukum yeah. are still there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying like so like how can you say like the verse that's abrogated takes priority even though we don't know that verse? Yeah. No, 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 no. It, it took priority before abrogating from the text of the Quran. It yes, was there yes, in yes. the Mus'haf. Then it was that one is abrogated, and all of these are abrogated yeah. by Surah An-Nur. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm saying, like, w why would it be like, how do you say it? Like, um, mm -hmm. um, like the verb, that verb, you know, like, yeah. why would only be abrogated in recitation? To, we, we also have a hukum, like, it's uh, the hukum is here without recitation, uh, with the recitation, but that one that's supposed, uh, like, yeah, that abrogated verse is no longer there. So, work, well, why are we keeping the um, um, abrogated one and not? following the unabrogated one. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't see what you were saying. There was a hukum, the first one, of imprisoning women for only women, not men, for for uh, for for uh, for life, after four witnesses, etc., etc. And the ayah hints that Allah will bring another solution later, maybe. Okay. I'm going to talk to you in the time of the time of uh, 
من نسخة تلاوة كيف يعني عندنا الحكم في القرآن فكيف تقول لي ان نسخ تلاوة ذاتس 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 هيستوريكا رياليتي ناو هاو تو اكسبلين ذا حكمة ذاتس انذر ايشو ذاتس وات هابن ذاتس ذا فيرست وان كليرلي ذاتس ذا فيرست وان and this have a hint of a possible another solution. Then the ayat al-rajim came, and based on that, the Jews were embarrassed and forced to, to reapply the law and expose as they're changing their own law. That's... that's I, 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 like, and I also, it was... I completely be, agree with you in this case, that like I don't believe it's ab ab abrogated the recitation only. I believe it's both... Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that came. The ayah, the nusikhu. Uh, the, the, the moment is the recitation is, is abrogated, the, the hukum is also mansukh, unless we have a, uh, irrefutable evidence that it's not mansukh. In that case, we don't have the opposite, actually. Uh, it, uh, but it has to come as an ayah in the Quran. It has to come an ayah in the Quran to overcome the, the previous ruling. That's number one. And secondly, to give the Prophet authority to apply his own law on the Jews, which confirms their law. Because he could not apply their law. Because he, when he, he, when he stoned the two Jews there, he said, Allahumma inni ahi hukmak alladhi amatu. I have revived your luring, which they made, made to die. So uh, this way they exposed as being that they made the law, law of Allah die. Secondly, they exposed that they claim that there is no abrogation is a, is a, uh, is a fallacy. They are themselves abrogating the law of Allah. So how can Allah does not have the authority to abrogate? Many aspects are covered by that. Then it was because it's the revealed law, it was applied to certain people. You may say they were unlucky or maybe they became murder and they have the benefit of it. Leave that to Allah. After that, the eye of Rajim was, uh, the, the eye of Surah Tawbah uh, Nur was revealed and the eye of Rajim was taken out of the Mus'haf. Finished. The only ruling remaining is the flogging for both male and female. It should be like that. And, but that's, that's, uh, somehow Umar and Ali, they, were, uh, they didn't, uh, uh, were unable to, 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 to see this this way. Because they did not follow it in a rush. Ali tried to have, have another solution. If, if the story of Sharah al-Hamdaniya is correct, that he, that uh, she, she was, uh, she, she was married, and uh, he, he, he flogged her that one day, and the next day he stoned her. Say, I flogged her with the book of Allah, being Surah Al-Nur, and I stoned her. And uh, that, this way, but he did not note it, in spite of Ali's being in a, in a matter of judicial uh, capacity, the best judges and the Sahaba. He's the man who, uh, judicial capacity, meaning the capability of applying the law to specific situations. That's the judicial capacity. This is a kind of, of mental capacity different than uh, the deriving abstract laws. That's the, that's the fiqh capacity. So various people have various capacities. He is the su superior in, in the judicial capacity. In addition, he is the man of first class fiqh. He recognized that the Surah Nur is still valid, has to be applied. But he could not depart from the issue that the, the, the Prophet has, has stoned and so on. But he did not notice that the stoning is based on the ayah which was abrogated, which can happen to Ali. I know that some Shia would say Ali is unfallible and say, uh, leave that. We, we don't want to go into, into metaphysical things which have no absolute irreducible proof. So Ali, the Ali's solution is applying both. But for, it, it contradicts the general principle that for the same crime, you have only one punishment normally. The two punishment needs really some, some heavy weight, extremely heavy weight uh, uh, evidence that for the same crime, you administer two, two different punishments at the same time. Does not seem to be fitting by any other crime or by any other, uh, uh, any other uh, uh, evidences in Sharia and so on. Seems to be odd. The general Sharia Shari'a philosophy is that uh, for every crime, there's a, if there's a punishment in dunya or something, then it is only one punishment for that. For that specific crime, it can't be two. This, this looks like some kind of injustice, unless you have a refutable. So that's how, how the sequence. If you see the sequence this way, the issue become clear, and we show it's clear, clear why an eye of Rajm has to come. Because because the the injunction in the Quran for the woman before that could not be removed without an eye doing that. Uh -huh. And then the Surah Al-Nur uh, overcame all of that, all of it is gone. Because nobody is arguing about that the ayah in Surah Al-Nisa is gone, in, in matter of hukum. Reciting is there, it's a nice for recitation, you can recite it, no problem. 
it is not removed from the Quran because the Quran was compiled and recompiled and recompiled and reviewed every Ramadan until the end of the Rafa and there was complete masahif in contradistinction to the misconception widespread by the people all of this nonsense I have some writing about that inshallah we'll try to get it to complete maturity and publish it one day but uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's the, the way Sheikh, what happened to the prophecy of Daniel? Still working on it. It's still, still certain. It's, it is complete in some sense, but I wanted really to make it more complete. <laughs> Sometimes it's becoming it perfectionist it's because, time, yeah, because I think that's, if that's if that's if if uh, being perfectionist in this one is very important because this is a very structured prophecy, and it has many aspects relating to Isa and being the Messiah really, and also uh, undermine many aspects about uh, the way the Christian look at Isa. Okay. and has certain oddity so it's, it's worth really going through that but I wouldn't go into, into it now really until I will check my notes I, I think it's almost complete but because they, the, in, the, in, the, in, in, the, in the prophecies of Daniel there are other bits which related to the coming of the Prophet and Jerusalem and things that, that may be worthy of, of going slow there and then you know life is, is never going according to your desire you suddenly have some events happening in the world you get busy with this political analysis or with some some legal analysis about the situation and so on and then you and, and then or you are forced to leave house or move house and then things are put in a in a file somewhere in a computer anyway until you go back to it and g get the energy it takes time but inshallah i will try inshallah get as as soon as possible awesome. But but I think the issue of abrogation is in the Quran and the ayah is very clear that if an ayah is abrogated and I think the Shafi'i point of view is that a hukum in an ayah cannot be abrogated except by an ayah which is similar to it or better to that in some sense or another or being better maybe linguistically or, or, or rhythm wise or rhyme wise or whatever it is or even ruling wise nicer uh, and, and, uh, but it does not necessarily meaning the ruling is less harsh or harsher that is not necessary. In the case of the definitely the the the, uh, the one of the flogging at the end is better than the previous ones all of them the first one can stay there because there was no controversy about them and uh, uh, and that's just it is agreement by everyone in the world and so on so let's go to Abdullah Mas'ud just before we conclude quickly I think uh, yeah we, we can give it so my my best analysis for 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 Abdullah Mas'ud and these issues is that uh, uh, somehow in his later part of life he may have uh, maybe have suf suffered some kind of memory problems I have the, I have a strong feeling of that because this issue with this is, is a bit odd number one second there are various other issues which are a little bit odd like for example uh, which uh, uh, the famous hadith in Bukhari about the Sadiq al-Masduq and 40 40 40 this is 40 we know that's 40 because it, it, it contradicts many other things although many people rely on that for the issues of Qadr and being someone being happy or unhappy in the womb of his mother but even if Mas'ud statement like for example this Mas'ud used and this is narrated by six of his companions so it is you cannot deny that is as well established as you could imagine he, say, he says Mas'ud often used to be in his speech or in his sermon saying Allah haq in Allah haqamun adl Allah is a just I just uh, judge, I just rule. Okay, Tayyip. Uh, as Saeed, as Saeed, man wa'i dhabi ghayri. The Saeed, the happy one, meaning the one who is surviving Akhira, is the one who will take maw'idha, take head warning from the one, from the others. Yeah. So he see the examples of the other and adjust himself accordingly. He take, he take head from the, what's happening to the others. Wa shaqi man shaqi fi batun ummi. But this is obviously upside down. The reverse. So if, some, so if someone is shaking from button on me, then it's nothing can be done about that. This is the ultimate injustice. And that the four, or five, or six narrating the same from him may make it difficult to assume that they reverse things upside down. If he would have said, "Saeed man 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 suida fi button on me," he would have said, "Everyone is Saeed to start with." It may make sense. <laughs> and there are various other things in his later life statements which are uh, give you the feeling that something is upside down. Something is not correct. I think he had uh, some 
maybe lapse of memory or some issues with 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 the with with the memorizing or or other capacity, because some 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 things are quite odd, and we have to have courage to say that. But I have this. He's unfallible. It doesn't count. What what? Yeah, what but even Abdullah bin Masoud with the Quran. You know, I feel sometimes we try to shrug it off under the carpet. No, 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 not shrugging it off. No, no, no. There's not. There's no shrugging it off. What we have is the tawatur and the masahif and all the people's hand all over the world, which defeats him. That's it. It's just the opposite. I I would use it, I would use it that I use it I, no no I would I would use it I would use it as an evidence for the certified form of the Quran we have in our hand that it stood the test of the time stood even a major reader like Abdullah Masoud making a blunder and exposing his blunder by he's against the Tawatur and against all Musahif in all the world. You mean, uh in this fact, I don't recall like uh, the whole thing, but from that mistake, it's about Surah Nas and Surah Al-Fala. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, Sheikh. Thank you so much. That was conclusive. Uh, so I, I would say someone could say uh, it's 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 a it, it's almost almost miraculous that that happens to Abdullah bin Masoud, and maybe maybe initiated by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. To give a descending voice, a descending voice to see that even even these two surahs were of the least of significance, the last and the most have anyway of least significance. They have some significance. They're any part of the Quran, but just Ruqya. They, uh, they, uh, the Abdullah Masoud was doubting, and the, all the Sahaba and all the writer and so on were were were, were opposing to him and certifying. The same apply, for example, in the Musahif of Safin. Despite of the people killing each other to the tune of tens of thousands both sides, nobody said that your Mus'haf is different than mine. That's also an enormous corroboration. Don't, don't ignore all these aspects. Someone could be metaphysically claim, I'm not claiming, I'm uh, 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 claiming something about Allah, which I don't know. But someone could say, maybe Allah allowed that to happen at least this battle so far and get to that so that we have an absolute certification of the quran that whatever they they're killing each other they co-accusing each other even to kufr and nifaq but nobody said that the musahif of the sham is having one letter different than the musahif of, of kufa so uh you're you're of the opinion that the um the the syrians in uh Safin were were muslim Oh, they, they assume they are kafir. It's irrelevant. The masahif in their hand is the same masahif like the one in Kufa, the same in Medina. That's what what's concerned me about the masahif. Uh, the Muslim or kafir is irrelevant for me. No, I think because most of them were misguided by Muawiyah. Muawiyah and the, the, some of the people around him are definitely munafiq. And this was hinted by Ammar. That was, was hinted by Ammar ibn Yasser clearly when he mentioned the story of the people who uh, tried to assassinate the Prophet and then pointing to the people of Sham or turning his face there because he has not at liberty to tell the names. He knows the names. He and Hudayfa, they knew him. Hudayfa died before that. Hudayfa died a few, a few weeks after the death of Uthman. I, um, like when they, if you come to Maskafar, that's actually... No, he, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, that they are kuffar. He no, said, he said, he said, no, no, he, he mentioned, he mentioned, he mentioned, he mentioned uh, let, let me tell you what happened. He mentioned the story of the people who wanted to assassinate the Prophet mm. in that way. Then he said, then he said, then he turned, then he turned to the people of Allah, not hinting who is he meaning. Wallahi ma aslamu, walakin istaslamu. وحتى وجدوا على الكفر أعوانا فأظهروا hinting that some of the people who were participating in the assassination attempt may be in that camp that's it that's it does not apply to the majority of the people of Sham because Muawiyah did an excellent job of misleading the people and making an enormous campaign of uh, uh, if, if, the, if the Shia are accused of the, they have Latmiya and they have a lamentation process. He made the lamentation for several months everywhere in Sham. And get got the, 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 the dress of Uthman going from village to village, from city to city, showing it to the people. And we all lamenting around it everywhere. That's, that's an enormous uh, popular misguidance process. It took the people for a ride. Sheikh, for, for that thing about Sufin, what do we respond that saying that you know that the art 
arbitration was you know wrong and it was it was not supposed to happen and yeah. you know the hukm of the quran is very clear yeah yeah but 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 ali was forced ali has to accept the shura but sheikh like do you accept the shura like if we do a shura to build bayt da'ara we, we accept that shura not matter of accept the shura by da'ara as a leader you have to accept the shura the people said we accept we have to have a mediation to settle the issue yeah, but uh, I'm telling you, do, can do we have the shura in everything? Like, if the hukum of the Quran is clear, then what what do you mean the hukum of the Quran is clear? Like have the shura against what Allah said. The hukum the hukum of the Quran is clear. In matter of the if I am in the middle of the issue between them, for in baghat ihdahum al al-ukhra, they the people of the Sham say we are not bargaining. We are asking for the dam of Uthman. That's what they claim. So that uh, so that is not clear in that sense. And uh, Ali recognized that is a trick and told him it's a trick. But the majority was not with him. Sheikh, those stories, are they accurate? You no, know, they are accurate. They are, the no, 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 they, they, are, they are accurate. They are accurate. They are accurate. In totality, they are accurate. The, the amount of narration about Safin and so on, despite of all the small details, that's, that's accurate. There's no doubt about that. And Tahkim has happened, definitely, without any doubt. And the story about the khala, uh, 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 the one the arbitration that's, that happened uh, most Amman. likely that's most likely that's the correct one yeah most likely and that's the reason Abu Musa al-Ash'ari was, 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 was went aside and so on and uh, uh, and, uh, and and uh, and why I, didn't why didn't Imam Ali accept the arbitration if he sent someone on <laughs> his behalf because that, because that, because the, that that the subject of arbitration is to issue of, of, of the blood of Uthman and finding solution, not removing the Imam which has a proper bayah. That was not that was that's what Amr ibn As persuaded Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, taking advantage of his simple-mindedness and and and, and simple-minded piety. That's it. That's not you the, know. the negotiation. Is that how to settle with the killers of Uthman? That's the reason for the fight, according to Muawiyah. Okay. So that, that, that's, the issue. That's, the, that's the issue. Yeah, but Abr al As was able to persuade, uh, according to the majority of stories, able to persuade uh, uh, Abu Musa al-Ash'ari being simple-minded, a good Quran reader, maybe a good-hearted man, but not, not sophisticated enough. In, in, uh, and the best thing is to, de to declare both to, be, uh, to, 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 to remove them from Khilafah and ask the Muslim to agree on someone else. And then, uh, then Amr ibn Al-As receded on that. So there was no agreement. You know, uh, Sheikh, I think these are really, really interesting topics. If we were to, you know, next time we're talking, to, we're going to focus on the Trinity, that, inshallah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that uh, that's 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 an, uh, the historic issue which needs really to be revisited and analyzed more thoroughly and more probably, I definitely. Agree. But but uh, yeah. but uh, in 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 that situation, Ali Ali recognized that it's uh, that's a trick, nothing else. But uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying that um, you know, if if we were to, I, I know, Sheikh, you have a, you have an interesting uh, perspective on Safin that, that some would consider to be unorthodox. If we were to advertise that, I think we'd we'd get a really really uh, huge. What what, huge what, what is the other non what's the other non orthodox one? Uh, well, you know, the, the orthodox p position is, of course, that Muawiyah is a hobby and you know. He made his ijtihad and 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 Ali no, 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 no. This is this this is not orthodox. This is this is a blatant violation of history and uh, narration by Tawatur, uh, without any doubt. That's that's is a misunderstanding of history. This is the whole Muawiyah camp worked on that very hard, very very hard, and tried to uh, to def deflect later opposition of the Shia after after Ali was assassinated and deflected by fabricating a hadith so on, deflected all the hatred and so on, especially the follow of Ibn Sabah toward Abu Bakr and Umar, and then was able to get himself out of this in a nice way. If you read the Saqifa, you see many uh, the tricks and the games he played about that. I don't know. That's, that's uh, orthodox uh, uh, is, is 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 a fabrication of history. That's the reason, for example, you find the main the main so-called Ahl Sunnah al-Jama'ah books of Aqeelah, they try to escape the problem. Would they know that if they study it properly, if they go in it in detail, it will the reality will be exposed, which they don't like, because majority of them will have been, ha, were and have been government scholars. They they say clearly, ولا نخوض في شجرة بين الصحابة. We don't discuss what the dispute between the Sahaba. Why don't you discuss? With which authority Allah gave you that you don't discuss and judge between them? You shall have to.
This is part of the history, and the, the, the result of that resulted in, in, uh, in demolishing the Shura system and establishing essentially a, 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 a vicious kingdom and then a tyranny. So that has to be. But they tried to run away from that. No, I said the orthodox point of view is a faulty point of view. I, I, I don't give it any, any credibility at all. But it has been. It has been. It has been. It, it, it came to the level that, like, for example, look at the Dhabi when he discussed Hadith Mankutum Wala Fa'ayu Mawla. He said, in, in my early phases of his scholarship, I was and we were brought up to, the, to regard this Hadith as, as fabricated, first of all. That's what the people think. That's what the, the masses were educated in the Kutab, in the primary school. That's the. Then, when he started studying Hadith more systematically and so on, he was shocked to find it in Muslim. And then he was shocked to find it in many other books with other and many other Sahaba. And then he said, I found it not only Sahih, it's Mutawatir. Imagine, you are brought up that it's fabricated, it's a lie. Believe it or not. So, so widespread was the messing up of history and covering it up to, uh, up to the time of uh, Ibn Dhabi. So, so then why, why, uh, why was this orthodox position not shattered? You, you said that the camp of Muawiyah, they tried very hard to, to push this narrative. Why was this not shattered at the time of the Abbasids, for example? Because the, Abbas, oh. because the Abbasids have, 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 uh, have receded on their commitment to Al-Bayt, except al Ma'mun later. And it was in their interest to continue the, the policy of Muawiyah of usurping power. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's power, baby power. <laughs> it's power struggle. It's dunya. It's fighting for kingdom. And then got entrenched. And, and, and the only opposition which could have been valid really undermining that probably went off, off tangent into into esoteric uh, imaginary world of of uh, of. Uh, Breaking the the ribs of Fatima and uh, and burning her house and all these nonsense, all these these imaginary bullshit stories. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, we did a debate uh, with one of the Shias on this, and uh, I did it. Uh, and so all I, all the all the all the hate energy which should have been directed towards Muawiyah and Ziyad and some of the Jundum and their allies and these gangs and uh, the scholarly work and so on, all of it was diverted toward in a target which is necessary will end nowhere. That's it, unfortunately. That's the historic situation. Only the Zaidi, they have a, but the Zaidi remained a minority. They were never supported by the general Shia, who mostly went more in the Sabai direction, and uh, the general Sunni, who were the majority of their scholars, the majority, not all of them, alhamdulillah, but the majority were government scholars. Sheikh, when you say Sabai, you know, Abdullah bin Sabai, isn't he like an invention of? They, they may be a, they may be a man may be a man of that name but it's not these fantastic stories there was a man who Ali, Ali ibn Abi Talib seemed to have shocked up to Madain who was claiming that Ali is, is an enemy of Bakr and Umar and things like that that's the, they're just an obscure person in history that's the so maybe they may be but it, it, beca uh, it became the name Saba it became that's like 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 a like, a, like a abusive word used since that time and it is suitable to be used against those who are stuck still with the breaking of the rib and all these stories which is simply fantastic yes yes yes, yes. absurd manifestly absurd so, Sheikh, what, what do you say about like uh, like I've, I've kind of studied this a little bit um, the origins of Rafidism I think there's evidence to suggest that there were people who would curse Abu Bakr and Umar عنهم, at the time of the Khilafah of Ali ibn Abi Talib because we have mutawatir uh, narrations of Ali عنه, he's coming ac across people who are speaking negatively of Abu Bakr and Umar, you can call them rawafid and uh, he says uh, you know anybody who, who says that I am better than Abu Bakr and Umar then I will whip them. That, that's so not you know, that's not Tawata, but there are various things. There are various things about that. Uh, there's various hadith from Ali, uh, which shows that that uh, this this the, that what they attribute to him that he's hiding that and so on. There may have been people at his time like that. There will be. There will be always, <laughs> there there is always any claim. any uh, any any distinguished personality. There will be always odd guys. Look at now, just at this Trump. Some of these guys from QAnon and so on. They are almost worshiping him. Regarding him as almost the Messiah. 
<laughs> they will be like that. Uh, they saw th- what is the name of Saint Janier or of these who believe <laughs> that uh, believe that uh, the last uh, the last king of Abyssinia, which is name, the one who was uh, was removed in a coup d'état. Hmm? Oh, and uh, and Najashi? Not the last, the last one in the last century. What's his name? Hila Salasi. Hila Salasi. Hila Salasi was removed and the kingdom was was finished by Kodita. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. In the seventies. Go read the story. Some of the, the people who admire Hila Salasi declare him to be a messiah and then a prophet and things that like, even a divine. They are still living in the Caribbean. Rafsirani or something like that. There will be always idiots like that everywhere. There will always have uh, people like that everywhere. Always. That's, that's human nature. You will find such, such brain dead idiots everywhere. The yes, problem, yes. Have, so, so, so Rafidism, Rafidism, what, what era would you, would you say Rafidism was um, like an actual movement? Maybe it started there. Maybe the, the roots started there. I think maybe it started there. During the time of Ali, radiallahu Possibly, yeah, possibly. If, uh-huh. if, this, if this story about Ibn Sabah or this uh, obscure man who, uh, in one narration, Ali said, uh, who will, uh, who will, get, uh, who will, uh, uh, who will sa- save me from this Al-Humayt al Al-Aswad. Al-Humayt is the, the big, the big, uh, not sheep skin, the big cow skin, the big water. You know, they used to save water in either sheep skin, that's a small one, or in cow skin, which is black and, and big. So who will you say, say because fat and black and big and he expelled him to Madain because what was yeah. he supposed to do to him? Ali is, is, a, is, a, is a Khalifa Rashid. He cannot administer more in more than expelling him out of the main city. But doesn't help the problem because he could continue his, his, his poison there. And, then even, so, uh, and, even, uh, and even we have people going extremes in the time of after Ali, like, uh, uh, like uh, someone asking Abdullah bin Abbas, Say, do you know what what, the, what is being a rumor now in, in Kufa? Say, what's the rumor? Say, they say Ali is coming back. Ibn uh, Abbas was in a state of shock that anyone even imagined something that they said. If we knew that he will ever come back, we would not have divided his wealth and get, and got his wives married after him. Professor, this is a Shia belief of Raja'ah. They believe of something called oh, Raja'ah. Not only Shia. We have we have we have, right. some, we have Khawarij we have the Khawarij uh, uh, mm-hmm. not the Azariqa the other one Najdat it's, it's, it's the Imam Naj Fulan ibn Najda I don't know I mean Abdullah ibn Najda anyway Al Haruri uh, was I think there was a dispute between certain function, function, factions and then he, he got killed and decapitated and the people split at him in three factions. One of them that he said he 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 would, did not die and he will come before Yom Al Qiyamah. So Raja is also in brain dead. If you are brain dead, you will believe in Raja, unless you have an insurmountable evidence that is coming back. Doctor, I have a question. Like it's, it's not in uh, like with relation to the subject. It's more personal, if, if I may. Uh, like I read somewhere that you have relatives that were um um, um how do you say it? Preacher uh, Khatib. And uh, Nabawi? Nabawi al Jaddi, my grandfather, Muhammad bin Abdul Razak Hamza. My, 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 oh, okay. yeah, the, the, my, my grandfather, mother, mother side, father of my mother Khadija. Oh. Yeah. He was yeah. Imam both in both Haram, Haramain, in Medina and in, yeah. uh, in, in Mecca. Yeah? So th- okay. Thank you. Okay, khair oh. inshallah. So I that, that's what Islamic history is better to leave it for, for, uh, for Arabic discussion, more or less, if needed, maybe. But uh, uh, some Orientalists did some work there because they are, um, uh, some of them are, at, at least in the later phases, are a little bit more objective and they don't have any religious bias to one side or another. They did some work there. And they, they were the first one to expose that the stories of uh, uh, Saif ibn Umar al-Tamimi uh, are, are, are fabricated and this, uh, the man going around called Abdullah ibn Sabah and leading the revolution is a fabrication. They never existed. That one. That, that, these part of the story. That a man who's called Abdullah ibn Sabah may have existed or not, that's a footnote of history. And, uh, uh, and uh, you could, actually we could say also that that part is also uh, detected in time past but not articulated, articulated like that directly. Like for example, Ibn Hibban in his uh, Thiqat he has an introduction about the say, about Muhammad السلام, his seerah and the Khulafa al-Rashidin, like few pages, just a summary, the main headlines, the main things. I don't know if he reached up to the uh, Safin and the issues after that. 
but he is known that he rejects everything coming from Abd uh, Saif ibn Umar al-Dabbi. And he said clearly in his Majruheen that the man is accused of Zandaqa and Kadhab and so on. That's what about... Um, and he did not take uh, anything, anything of his in his seerah. But his seerah is very limited and few pages in the beginning of the thiqat. How would you compare him to Lut ibn Yahya Abu... Um, no comparison. But Abu Mukhlaf is much more better and more reliable. And it's not, it's not true that uh, that uh, uh, what some uh, Salafi claim that he is a liar. So he's much better and much more. Uh, and if you see his na na narrations, for example, Al Tabari, some of them completely uh, com uh, uh, go completely against some Shia positions. So the man is as reliable as he can. There's no reason really to attack his reality. And also, those who criticize him, like Ibn, uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Abi ha uh, Abu Hatim al Razi and so on, uh, his, at his attack is based on being Shia. Say, so, uh, uh, I think this, this statement about Abu Makhraf, or is it about uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 what's the name of the other one, for the one who wrote Safin, Ibn Muzahim um, al Minqari? Is he not a, he's not a Rafidi? No, no. Uh, it doesn't matter if he's Rafidi or not Rafidi. All that he's criticizing him say, uh, a Shia muhtariq fi, muhtariq fi tashayu. Taib, a Shia muhtariq fi tashayu. Does mean? I can't uh, tell Abu Hatim and you are Sunni or you are Nasib muhtariq fi Nasib. Does not bring us anywhere. Neither forward nor backward. We take, if we criticize people of history and of narration, is that how, how reliable is he and how good is in his exactness and memory. And that's by comparing his narration with other narrations and by the, seeing what, what the people who lived with him and knew him, how much they evaluated him and not evaluated him and things like that. That's the only way. Otherwise, we cannot assert in anything in history this way. That because someone has another belief, his narration is completely discounted. That's, it doesn't work this way. That will undermine history. It's also undermine the Quran. Because truthful relation of history is a branch of being truthful and trustworthy in, in, in business transaction. They said come from the same source. And the, the Quran says clearly, من أهل الكتاب من تأمره بقنطار يؤديه إليك ومن من تأمره بدينار لا يؤديه إليك إلا ما دمت حفظ. The people who look how is that? If they're be reliable, trustworthy people, you can give a قنطار, a hundred kilogram of gold, he will bring it to you back. He is worthy of trust. And they can assume that the one who narrates the story, that not it, according to his best knowledge, he narrates what he received from a previous generation. That's the way you verify uh, narrators, not because of creed and uh, belief. Sheikh, Sheikh, what do you think of those who say, like uh, in in, in uh, Rajad books, that you know, if he's narrating something for his bid'ah, we don't accept it. That's also, like that, they that's also a fallacy. Reject yeah. Amish. That's that's, that's 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 a fallacy. That's a fallacy in two grounds. Sometimes yeah. say the kind of more, the kind of, they sometimes they say, like say the kind of da'ya like the kind of da'ya li bid'ah. The, the word da'ya mean could could have two meanings. Meaning he's calling himself for his bid'ah. He's an active mubtadi', and this is a fallacy because he, an active mubtadi' meaning that he's convinced about his belief, and there's no reason to believe that he's not trustworthy or worthy because of that. That's another thing. And secondly, meaning this, that his narration is supporting his bid'ah. And this is even worse, meaning if he is lying with something supporting his point of view, then he's a liar. Exactly. So how, how, how you can you claim that you accept what he's ever narrates except what supports his bid'ah? If he lies in this, then he must, he must be doubted in the other one. It doesn't work otherwise. So this is nonsense. This is, both, both of that is nonsense. All of that is nonsense. Most of these uh, issues with the Rijal and so on are based on partisanship and uh, and uh, and accusation of bid'ah and things like that. All of them have, have no uh, have no standing. Have really have no standing. If you scrutinize this and go to some narrators which have been accused of being weak or something like that and scrutinize their history, you will find the reason in many cases is because of their tashayu or because of their point of view. And sometimes, you, you know, uh, and that is that's where this this disease is both in Sunni and Shi'i. Like for example, Aban ibn Uthman al-Ahmar, I think, I think, yeah. The Shia say, oh, we cannot accept his narration because he's Nawusi, and the Nawusi is kafir. Yeah, you know, two calamities in one. First, Nawusi has become a kafir now, with their point of view. Taib, this one may be fathi. <laughs> Yalla, don't worry. So you don't accept the narration. That's just, this is all uh, completed partisanship and disease in the mind. 
so all these books of Rijal has to be, uh, to, uh, 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 some of it has to be cleaned. Has really to be yeah. cleaned. I agree. The Shia is especially is... special personalities. Yeah. I think, um, you know, one of the other things I was reading was uh, regarding this issue of bid'ah, right? Um, I was reading during the time of the Abbasid revolution, uh, Actually, one of the one of the things that they wanted to do, the Abbasids, once they took over power, was to do things a little bit differently than the uh, than the Umayyads. Mm-hmm. So they intentionally went out of their way to change, uh, for example, how how the khutbah was administered, mm-hmm. the Friday khutbah, um, the adhan, for example. They did this just purely as a means of distinguishing themselves from from how the Umayyads ran things. Um, so, cool. so sometimes I think that there was this incentive to yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, all of this what is that they 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 entered an area which is a, in the theory they should not have entered it in the first place. What 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 does the head of state has to do with the adhan or the khutbah? That's right. all misunderstand. That's all m- m- messing up with uh, the time of sh- uh, the shura and the khilafah rashida. Although some of the khilafah made a mistake here and there, which is human, that's clearly. But it was never a systematic policy that khutbah is dictated or that what uh, what the imam should be saying is dictated or anything like that at all. Or even a s- special shape of the form of say this, they'll say don't say that, and things like that. Anyway, I think that's that's, that's a field by itself and bid'ah and so on. Well, and also history is very, very sore. It has to be cleaned. There's a big mess that has to be really cleaned. There's, there's the intention of, uh, the, uh, of people to make uh, to make uh, history looks nicer than it is. That's so many al-Sunnah, especially those who are trying to make uh, Muawiyah and Bani Umayyah and Bani al-Abbas as like, uh, like half angels. And then we have obviously an extreme Shia point of view, and not, not all of them, but many of them, who made to make uh, even the time of Khulafa Rashidin to be miserable and evil time. And neither neither will, will get, do to history any justice. If you follow history thoroughly, with all documents of both narration here, and balance things, and that where it is contradicts, try to balance things based on other supportive evidences, contradicting evidences, then you will end really in a more, much more well balanced. And, and, Fortunately or unfortunately, some some Mustashriqeen, some Orientalists have done some work in that, which is a pity that it is done from outside, but it doesn't matter. I would say uh, Islam and uh, Sunnah and Hadith and so on has come for all mankind. So if uh, another Mustashriq or a Chinese or, or a Russian or an Englishman does a better job than our own people, or, uh, quote unquote, because these are our own people, because he is, a Prophet is sent to all mankind. So they are welcome to do, to participate, as long as it's unbiased, uh, unbiased as much as possible, as humanly possible. Nobody will be completely free from bias. And you, you will see who is biased and who is fair and who is well balanced. You will see it. It will not, it will not escape your, your attention if you study thoroughly and study the point of view and the opposite point of view. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, I think I'd really, really um, like to dedicate, inshallah, an entire um, event uh, to this topic of, you know, uh, Post Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Islamic history, so yeah. you know the events of uh, that's very the, important. The that's very, and the Umayyad and the Abbasids. That, that's very very um, important. Very important. Inshallah. Okay. So next time, inshallah, we'll do Trinity. Unless, um, yeah, I think I yeah. think we'll do Trinity. And then, inshallah, after that, we can do uh, early Islamic history. Inshallah. Or should we? Uh, uh, the Trinity is, I think, just just the, the tip of the iceberg. Maybe the beginning was that. Uh, how much do we know or, or can believe about about Isa or the, about the Messiah? Start there, or you start okay. start from the top, from the Trinity, because you're starting. As you wish, as yeah. you wish. Yeah. Whichever one you see, see the other side. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe Trinity is a, ca- a good catchword. At least is a good catchword. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah, we'll, we'll do inshallah. that. Okay. Or we can do like the incarnation. If you want the first step. It is all, all of it is it is only oh, this historical Jesus. What it, what is his relation to the divine? Uh, uh, it it all interwoven. It's all it's all uh, summarized very beautifully in Hadith with Umar, who are beating around the bush with want to discuss the issue of bay'ah and what happened in Saqifa. <laughs> I started beating because the issue is very hot. <laughs> and he is knowing that there will be confrontation with Zubair and other possible confrontation, and he has to tell the truth about that it was Falta, etc. You know that you have the Bahtis Saqib in your hand. Yes. You may give it to the brothers. Yeah. And he started beating the bush and started saying, and the Messenger of Allah said, Don't overpraise me like the Christian or the Nasara, Nazarene, overpraised Isa ibn Maryam. Because they said he's a Lord. 
Don't call me Lord. Call me slave. Slave and messenger of Allah. أنا عبد الله ورسوله. The moment you say slave, that all the problems are gone. What what you did? the problem with the Christian is that they overpraised Isa, made him above human, Lord. I see a, I see a, I see a lot of parallels actually between what the Christians did with with Isa alayhi salam and what the Shias did with Ali and Al Hussein radiallahu Could could anhu. could be overpraising, overpraising, yeah. overpraising, yeah. yeah. Like it's it's actually very subhanallah. Like um, the Christians, they believe that that Isa alayhi salam was was uh, killed right in, in this uh, very gruesome manner and by crucifixion and they center their whole religion around this event on the yeah the and crucifixion the, is the, the, uh, that's the, the cross is the, the symbol of uh, of the sacrifice and so on the whole field then uh, some justification why should such a noble man be sacrificed although in, in luke it says clearly uh, uh, that you have uh, you, you have uh, he says clearly they killed the great prophet of god and the, the, uh, one of the Romans standing there allegedly said, you have killed an innocent man. So that's, that's, that's Luke. Know. But they, they don't go to Luke. I think Luke is, yeah. is the, the one who's closer to history. Although it's definitely not a historic book, but it seems to be more historical than the others. And there's barely anything which... You, everything always speaks against the divinity. The moment the and, divinity, and the, the, moment the divinity issue the, is finished, then it is all of these. The, all of, no need for this nightmare of, of incarnation, nightmare of, of uh, Trinity, or all of these things, which which leads to never-ending uh, um, uh, uh, logical contradiction and problems. Right, and, w and with the Shias, I think we see a very very similar response to the events of Karbala, right? Yeah, with Al Hussein radiAllahu an. Um, being being killed in it. What we agree is a very gruesome way, but of course we don't center our religion around this. We don't exactly you know make an event every every year like they do. So I, I think it's a very similar response, subhanAllah, you know? Yeah. But um, but obviously in, in the case of Christian it's, it's went uh, up to divinity. There it went to just close a little bit close to prophethood without claiming prophethood because it would be kind of, will be undermined by Islam completely. So, well, so well, they say that the Imams are greater than the prophets. They actually it's funny I saw that, uh, that's, yeah. that's that's claiming a t certain translation of this this is this is more I would say this is more in the in the realm of poetry. If it goes, if you go to the books of Aqidah structurally, it's not like that. But sometimes you write something for the public, something in 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 in, uh, in uh, let us say in uh, more uh, like like a poetry. And uh, I, I wouldn't say that is really uh, the proper creed as you find in the books of the technical books of creed. It's well, no, in, in their hadith, for example, they have they say that Allah visits Al uh, Hussein in Karbala every night. Um, they have strange, strange things like this. Like uh, one visit to Karbala is uh, one ziyara is better than one thousand Hajj. I, I know, I know, I know all of these things. But still, it is it is not what you find in the books of Aqidah structure. It's not like in Christian where it is. The Nicene Creed is the base of Christianity. Since then, with a mm -hmm. with a well structured statement about being begotten, not made, the, the, the God from God, light from light, born before time. Before in eternity, etc. All of these. That's just, that's a different. This is a, a manifestation of creed, which you have to, to confess to be to be Christian in the Nicene sense, which is not mm -hmm. the opposite of the, military, the Unitarian sense completely. So it's, it's not a. It's just a, like like for example, some people say the border is having sort of exaggeration, like addressing the Prophet that from your knowledge is the knowledge of of ilm and qalam. If you take that as strictly at face value, meaning he attribute him to have the divine knowledge, so he's divine in some sense. But I address him the akram al khalq, the best of creation. So uh, that is poetry. Leave poetry and things like that. Let's go to strict things of aqidah, which can be done systematically in a systematic book of theology. That's that's uh, these of the these shadow fighting does not bring any anything forward and so on. Right. It's better. No, inshallah. I think, mm. I th okay. like I said, I think. Uh, and that's a, a, another, you know, very interesting topic. I don't know. I don't know if you'd be willing to go into that of, of Shia theology and, and maybe how it developed, um, no, or maybe some other Islamic sect. Yeah, we can. We can. At a future time, yeah. inshallah. No. Uh, but I think this the this event it, it went slightly over. But um, as always, it was an honor to to host you, Sheikh. Inshallah, we, we look we look forward to having you, inshallah, next weekend. But we'll have maybe the title of Trinity, maybe that's the most attractive one.
in shot as a title and then we may address the nature of jesus and what what can be said about him probably تمام تمام اوكي في حفظ الله السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة